I guess they forgot to put the uh, the thing on. So it's Monday. I think maybe they didn't. Who the hell knows? Monday, it's Collider Live. Nice to see everybody. Nice to hear from everybody over the weekend, meaning nobody, just me and my kids and my wife. How is everybody doing on a wonderful Monday? Roxy Stryer, how you, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine, Christian. How good. are you? Nice to see I you. I like a good friend's reference in the morning. Thank you. Um, Brett Sheridan. I call you a friend. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't do that. That's not do that. the director of of that oh. of the movie that then drove me bananas. Oh, so just um, hold the microphone. I gotta cup cup the balls. That's better. Cup um, the balls. Jeez, please, please. It's it's the start of the show. Yeah, come yeah. on. Show that's one. Lot. That's one. That, cup the balls. You can't do. Cup. You got five for a show. You can cut the balls around eight <clears throat> times. Yeah, and then you're done. So then early, you're early to cup the oh, balls. Oh, it depends on who you who you're with. Coming in hot. Yeah. yeah How you doing, Mark Riley? I'm good. Yeah. How are you, Christian? Did you have a nice weekend? Yeah. Is that true? I did. I good. did. No, we had a great weekend. Yeah, it was relaxing. Yeah. And then two parties on Saturday night. Two oh, is that why you're a little lethargic? Parties. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty lethargic. <coughs> oh, I feel so bad for you. You're gonna, so yeah. popular. Where right. were you? Where Where were you at the parties? What, what What parties? Yeah, exactly. Why don't you invite Was it? I invited? Did you no, even text you it was, Your it party's was, next weekend, right? Yes, yeah, my oh, party's this oh. Saturday. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. No, 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 no. It was it was uh, Julie's work holiday party. I was oh. not invited. Can that, I come? Yeah, that one was fine. And then it was a USC one. Well, I wasn't invited to that either. Can I come? I yeah. yeah, well, you should have been there. Well, you can't anymore. You can't say it about something that already passed. Could I have come? Yeah. Yeah, why didn't this I? This was an why invite I from yeah. somebody. I, I don't think I... I, I yeah. I'll... I'll text you. Fight on. I, I well, know, right? Talk about hashtags and things. <laughs> whether it was "Can I come?" or um, well, what was the other? What was the other? Oh yeah, that's just uh, that's just his opinion. Or there's so many others. That, Wait, that kept, oh my god! What happened? <laughs> the afterthoughts, guys. On the that's just their opinion. We have to talk about it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, well, we can talk about that now because okay. I, well, I was going to bring up. Well, first things first is that. <laughs> so even the, well, the I there's two things here. Because I want to talk about the one-on-one -on -one interview that I did with you that went over really well. I think people saw you in yeah. a brand new light. It awesome. was very positive. I, I, I have to call out a stupid, stupid comment. Oh, good. I have to call it stupid of comment. All the I saw love, it on Twitter. Call something out that's bad first. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll go into the love because of Twitter. And I and it's the it's the first thing you are you are part. I brought you in here because you're you can hang. You are yeah. part of the crew. You are just you're one of the dudes. You, we're one of the girls. It's the same thing. Everyone is on equal. Equal playing field yes, here. Yes, hundred percent. So I saw that this. This is a problem with the society. I hope this person's watching because it was such a dumb comment. I was going to tweet. I was going to dong take. Or twat no, take? no, it was, it was it was it was their opinion. But I I just saw it and I was going to respond on Twitter. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start a war. I'm just going to bring it up and talk about it on the show because if you feel this way, I don't think you do. But if you do, then we should talk it talk mm. it out. Did I respond? You didn't. Okay. Um, this person. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It was. Do you think it was so dumb? It was so dumb. When we had got into our conversation about the garbage cans and everything, too, and then you said the thing about the opinion, and I went, and I couldn't understand it. <laughs> Very similar to when Makuga and I were talking about the, uh, the, the Instagram, and I was yeah. getting frustrated with it. And we had the argument, we had it, we hashed it out, it was fine. And then this person, inside the tweet, the, this is the problem with Twitter and the problem with society in general. This person then makes it a thing about you being the only girl in the room, and that, you, that the fact that Oh, they were just dismissing you because you're a woman. No. Wait, what did it? What did it have to do with me being a woman? It, exactly. It was. Okay. A, it was like so they, it was a, right. being, you were anything. being dismissed, and I rolled my eyes at you. I I rolled my eyes at Makuga and Riley. No matter what, I yep. did it because you're part of the show, yeah. and you were part. And it was a conversation. It was. There were <laughs> things to fight for. It was so dumb. There, it was so dumb. I will say there are people in the comments and then the, the chat that dismissed me that I, because I'm a woman. But you you brought me on the show. I know. That's That's, and, and, and I guarantee now because it was a woman who wrote the comment. Oh, that, that oh, no. be like, yeah. I appreciate you, girl. <laughs> I appreciate you for thinking, but that's not what happened. Not at all. I, I did. I did listen back, though. I still stand my ground on it. Which is funny. <laughs> but it has nothing to do with me being and a I woman. Still, <laughs> and I still think you're a lunatic, and it has nothing to do with you being a woman. <laughs> I uh, get that. Yeah. I get that. But it was. It just drove me crazy. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, tweet him. I'm not tweeting. I said, I just want to talk to Roxy about it. It sucks because it just the times that I am dismissed for being a woman, which are very frequently. Here? Not, no, no, oh. no. In life. No, right. just. In general, not on this, this, on this, should the, this should be the safe space. But it, it makes those not count as much when I'm always dismissed for right. being a woman because that's not true. Right. I'm, I'm not always dismissed for being a woman. Sometimes I am, 
that when we're talking about garbage cans. No, it's just I didn't be, I didn't agree and I couldn't understand what the hell you were talking about. I from what the it's after like cross, a quiet woman. Right. Like. Shut up, broad. What, the, <laughs> Shouldn't have let you vote. Yeah. Go make me a steak. Um, oh, you're taking a decade. Oh, yeah. no. I don't want a woman getting into my garbage can discussion. This is real important Sacred stuff. Sacred ground. Right. Oh, you're lucky so to be good. voting. It's um, so good. Yeah, but it was just it was it just drove me crazy. Yeah, that's an, it, it's insane. It drove me crazy, and I, I mean, I again, it's it's one of those things. I appreciate you fighting the fight, but don't just tweet shit out. If anything, yeah. send you a DM. Wait, I didn't see that. It, it was it was. It was I'm did glad. they just tag you or did they tag me? It, it was they tagged me. You were on it. And it's no, just, I it think was, they respond. They responded oh. to the the tweet from oh, Collider. So, so we were all tagged. Oh, on that sucks. That sucks. It just, that yeah. sucks. It, it just I, was so silly. I mean, it's crazy when, because it makes men, and I'm not saying you in particular, but it makes men not want to hire women when that kind of well, thing happens. Yeah, that's because, not true. But, but for me, for no, me. no, yeah. definitely not for you. But I'm just but, saying, like. I have the opportunity to be on the show. Then you brought me on your one-on-one, which you don't bring everybody on. I'm sure like a different person, not you, would just be like, fine. I, I don't want to deal with this kind yeah, of and thing that's, anymore. And it, see, for me, it's a, that's, that's more of a problem. But that's not... That's not you. Like I know. No, I, but that's what happens in the world. That's why yes. I don't get as many opportunities because it's annoying to deal with sometimes. Yeah, and, but I. But that's. I guess it goes back to what we were talking about. It's. It's the fight. Is the fight is right? And it's the other totally. thing. Some other. Guy, and I'm fighting it. Well, this other guy who wrote, and we were talking about, you know, how George Carlin talked about the pussification. We talked about that on Friday. And this guy writes back to me, and he goes, "You can't really talk about that because you complained about." The, the boys toy thing at, at Disney. I'm like completely different. You Wait, just, why is that? They, What's the correlation? Right. He's what he's saying is that the reason why. I, yeah. He's we saying, killed he's saying, Riley. He's we he's killed saying, Riley. Well, his 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 reasoning behind <laughs> his reasoning behind it was like just teach your kids uh, that it's okay. And I'm like, yeah, but that's easier said than done, dude. It's like when you when you're younger. I'm lucky enough to where my daughter looked at it and said, these are just everybody's toys. Not all kids are like that. So it's one of these things. It's not a matter of like, I am the last person to start doing that type of stuff, you know, to, to tweet about it. That's why this particular tweet I just mentioned to you bothered me so much because sometimes I think people just scream into the ether yeah. without any reference behind and it. And I'm sure that based on this particular person's past, she has reason to be angry. She has reason to Maybe. be frustrated. Doesn't really know us. Doesn't know us. Doesn't know you. Yeah. Whatever it is. But it's still, when you fight the good fight in the wrong way, it actually hurts the good fight. Right. Yeah. Right. Which it's sucks. A- I still am confused on the pussification thing, though. Uh, w- I don't understand how that affects your kids' future and, uh, and men, it, it women. It made no sense to me either, but it's, it's just the fact because I think— because you're using the word pussy? No, 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 no. I think because of the the the, the fact that what I the, what George Carlin has said about the pussification is that we, we complain about everything, and and, it's just, and and same thing what I was talking about. We just there are little things like the baby. It's cold outside, or whatever. The other one that was mm-hmm. we talked about um, last oh, week. Oh, I lost Red somebody by reindeer. saying that was rapey. I used to, I liked Brett, but you lost me on that one. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I didn't you, say it should you, be taken off yeah. the air. No, I don't give you, a shit. You didn't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it huh. is a rapey song. It's, it's not, <laughs> but it's not a rapey song. It's it, it, it is, it's a flirtatious. Say what's in this drink. Is that the line? Is it is it is it, is it is alcohol? Yeah. Is it alcohol? Because yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get home, and are you trying to just yeah. be, and I can't drive I mean, when I'm drunk? It's for the time. Yeah. I'm not saying it's I don't flirta- give a shit. It's a flirtatious song. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> it's when he says, uh, you know, please rape me tonight. That was that's the line that I think they should take. Maybe if they cut that one Hit out. Hit me in the head with yeah. this fish. Yeah. 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 These um. roofies taste weird. <laughs> you know, it's like I don't. I don't know if that's necessary. Maybe they could edit that you part. You lost them. You the lost them yeah. already, Brett. Smash already my gone. balls. Oh, um, my God. Anyway, but it, it just, the weekend is the weekend. What are you going to do with it? It's, it's The tweets come in. Uh, I live but, for the weekend. But the positive but tweets. We got, I've never, I don't think I've ever received such an outpour of love from people. Holy crap. Yeah, well, you're, I told you, and even though I ran off afterwards, but uh, it was a, it was Like a, the fastest I've ever seen anybody get up. It was a great Done. interview. It was a lot of fun. And what I knew what would happen inside of that interview was just it's who you are you don't hold back you're honest um there really wasn't there anything that you that you yeah. didn't want to talk about i i ask every guest that i have on one-on-one i said is there anything you don't want to talk about because if not then i won't bring it up and you said no open book and it, you're the definition of an open book yeah you know? and i think that you told your story you told your story in a way that what i saw the comment that i liked the best was that because you can have polarizing opinions on this on this show that's that's kind of one of the reasons that you're so phenomenal on the show. I think sometimes 
We won't agree with you. Sometimes we will, and sometimes they won't. You'll have a different opinion. That's right, a different <laughs> opinion. And um, but the thing is, too, I think what the people, even people who have said in the past that they didn't like you, right? <coughs> Impossible to listen to that interview and not understand kind of the, what you went through. The reason they don't like you. Yes. No. That's, uh, <laughs> but, so yeah. That was cool. I think that. A lot of people wrote in the comments, like, I completely disagree with your opinion on movies, but I'm, I respect you as a person. I'm so happy to hear your story. I couldn't care less if you disagree with my opinion right. on movies. I have a weird opinion on movies. There's a reason that I disagree with a lot of my friends on movies. I'm looking for something else. And if you match up with me, then take my recommendations. And if you usually don't, then don't. That's right. what critics are for. I mean, I, I don't call myself that, but that's what that's what we're here for. That's what opinions are for. Yeah, that's what opinions are for. That's just what it is. But the amount of hate that I've received on this show so far on Collider Live. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> damn you, Brett. Right. It was all your, was your you and your August, army. August, yeah. Those uh, hidden accounts of my, yeah. my aliases. <laughs> it, it's been astonishing to me. I've never received as much hate in my life just because I don't feel like it's fair to not like somebody because of their movie opinions. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, it, maybe it's... Um and who knows? Maybe some people think it's the movie pins. Maybe some people think people it's... don't like my attitude or whatever. It could be it, I and mean, that's totally I fine. Get the same thing, yeah. But I was really surprised because I think of them being the same audience, and so going into our one-on-one, -on -one, I was like, okay, I'm just going to be me and be as honest as possible, and I'm ready for the hate. That's fine, right. but I'm not going to make up a different story. And the hate didn't come, and it just didn't come. Well, which was kind of why that was my point, though. I think it was the same audience. I think that yeah. the, that a lot of those people who thought of you one way. Because I know you, I didn't know you that well, yeah. as well as I did after that interview, and I think that that's the whole point of that. Is yeah, people, you're, people were able to to lock in, hear your story, understand the arc. Because you went, we went through an arc the entire way from the start of everything you went through into where you are today, which I thought was really interesting. I thought that's why they responded. It was just we told a story. We kind of branched off so yeah. many times too that we got to a lot of different parts, and yeah, I am so grateful. Every person that DM'd me, I was telling Alex this before the show, I read every DM that I get uh, for purposes of a, a different network that I work at. After what happened, you guys can put the pieces together. Right. I'm not allowed to respond to DMs um, privately. Yeah. So I respond to YouTube comments and I read all of the DMs. So if you've DM me your story as well, I'm really, really touched. And people were, you know, I've been through a lot in my life and they were coming out, uh, people telling me what they've been through yeah. and it, it's hard. It's a lot of similar it's so, stories. It's of things a lot that you of similar through, stories yeah. um, about loss, about abuse, about uh, breakups, about yeah. all the things. And I just feel for every single person. Right. Like I, my heart goes out to every person. I want them to know that I'm seeing all of it and I'm thinking about them. Yeah. So you responded to a lot of I comments. I tried to too. respond to as many as I could. There were a couple, a couple shitty comments in 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 there, but not, but nothing too, nothing too bad. Yeah. There were a couple people. You know, there was one part that I did talk a little bit about, but I didn't really dive into, um, and because I'm just not ready yeah. to. And there was a couple comments like. Everybody calling her brave. This isn't brave. If she was brave, she would tell our whole story or whatever. And it's like, all right, you can actually right. suck my dick. Like, <laughs> there you go. That is ridiculous. Right. But for the most part, wow, I was blown away. I was really blown away. Yeah, we did reveal that Roxy actually does have a penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, is true. That's that. why I'm so in my big baggy that. That, was yeah. Yeah. Um, that was towards the end, though, so you got to listen all the way through. All the way through. It's a post credit scene like Marvel. You guys have to check out. God bless you. Check that out. It's on the playlist right now. If you go to one-on-one -on -one with Christian Harloff, and that's on there, the Ju the Juno page, I was going to say. Ellen Page is on there mm -hmm. uh, as Juno well. Page, you know who I started listening to today? Which? Rokas. Rokas is great. Yeah, I'm, I'm an hour and something deep into yeah. it. It's wow. so funny that people people that have been on the show start listening to the show now. Yeah. yeah. I it's not. I don't get Roka at all. Yeah. Uh, that's why I haven't listened to it. Oh, what happened to your mic? They turned it off. I don't know. Why did they turn yeah, it off? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, all right. Let's see. I, I, I don't understand him. Just stop back messing with him. There it is. And so yeah. I started getting all these comments oh. about people who didn't understand me, and that's why they are now respect me. And I was like, maybe this will help. Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, I want to I wanna hear his. I think you will, because, I mean, he, he was. So far, he's got some interesting stuff going on. Yeah, how long did you I'm listen to? I'm an hour and 15 in, so. You're I'm 15 almost, minutes in? An hour and 15 oh, an hour in. And 15. I'm, I'm almost done yeah. with it. About, it was, like, 15, 20 minutes That was good. Left. Dan's was really good. Yeah, I'm excited um, to listen to his Yeah, there were a lot well. of really good ones on there, too. So check it out if you haven't listened to it. You can, you can do the audio download on 101 Christian Harloff, and the Rally Roundtable is also on there. So yeah. you can check it on that podcast feed, or just go to the YouTube links. 
uh, on this channel. So, uh, there, speaking of, of of reviewers or critics, this is a this is a tough one because when it comes to back to the opinion, right? People have different opinions. You normally would say, "All right, that's the guy's different opinion," and I'm gonna agree with it. So, Spider-Man to the Spider Verse had a hundred percent, right? Yeah. And then there was some. Turd. It doesn't have it anymore. No, it's no. Some, some 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 turd on wheels. Uh, yeah. The, the guy. I mean, I think what, what does he go by? Um, Roger Moore. It's not the late great, but Roger Moore, I believe, is the guy's name. And I read the, I read just a little bit of the breakdown of what he said. It just seems to me I would like to actually have him on the show and have him explain. Um, what he really thought it just seems to me like he was trying to he for this very reason that he ranks it down and then people start talking about who is who the hell is that who guy? Is Roger Moore? who is that guy right because I'm looking him up his uh, I just from what he was right about the animation being shaky and and sloppy and, uh, and I just it just to me <clears throat> well if, I did say I agree with seemed like 3D yeah, yeah. I, I agree with this that was my favorite animation of all time but the story was just so strong than that yeah. movie nation so what was his quote what was the quote what, jerky uh, jerky motion jerky motion blurred action beats a clever concept ruined by sloppy animation is yes. what he said. That's to me. Even even if so, the story was so good, the humor was so good, the writing was so good, the voice performances were so good. To not rank it because again, to be under fresh, it's got to be under three out of five. Yeah. Even with the the animation, if you're just reviewing, are you reviewing just the animation or reviewing the movie? That person clearly doesn't care about story. Right. And yeah. So, so it, and that's that's their prerogative as is. a reviewer. I know. To care more about the art than the story being told. I know. And if he didn't like that medium, I mean, I agree with you, Christian. I feel like it is a little bit of devil's advocate to play devil's advocate. But somebody who's been accused of that a million times and has never once done that right. and legitimately feels that way, maybe that's what he looks for. Yeah. May, maybe so. I just never heard of this guy before ever, and then just happens to be the one guy that votes it down. And now people are talking about him, including myself. So it's uh, <laughs> good for him then. Y yeah. So Rock I, on. I don't know. I, I don't believe him. I, I don't believe him. I think that he's lying. But um, you think he's lying about what? I think he just wanted to. to, to, to he would have given it a found a way to give it a uh, under three, no matter what, so he can get it noticed. But I, I could be wrong. I could be absolutely wrong. Um, he's docking a lot of points for the animation thing. Yeah. And he says he got up and actually asked people at the screening to fix. To fix it because it was too blurry for him. They're like, no, that's the way it's supposed to be. I did think something was wrong. There was a couple times that looked 3D. Yeah. But I mean, that's that's the only thing you're reviewing here. That's Comic the style book coming to life. Com yeah, yeah, exactly. That was the style. Didn't bother me. Yeah. I, it bo it did slightly bother me, but everything else was so dope. Right. That's yeah. so. That's what I mean. But so, for him, it bothering him. Bother him. I see what he's saying. All right. Um, let's oh, get into so something though. controversial. We, oh. should, we should we should talk about the controversial stuff, not the Avengers trailer. We'll talk about that later. Uh, Ricky and Elliot, by the way, are coming in from ETC. Ricky yeah. Hamburg, Elliot Dewberry, part of the Wild Bears, uh, will be coming in. But this whole Kevin Hart thing. I mean, we didn't really get a chance to talk to talk yeah. about it. So Kevin Hart kind of happened pretty fast, really there. quick. He got hired to be the Oscar host, and just like that, he was he he, he was asked to leave um, because there were tweets that were. Brought up from I think 2009 of mm -hmm. uh, stuff to where he was talking about his kid. If his kid Nine. Ever, yeah. How, wait, how old was he? How old? Were the, wait, how old were the tweets? Nine. They're how, from how many years ago? Sorry, cops. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> well, I don't know how many it was. We were just wondering how many nine. years ago. It was from the ninth. Okay. All right. Um, oh. It was about nine, 2009. I think it was a little less than that. Eighth. You think yeah. it was eight? Eighth? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I know if that's true. Uh, 2008? I thought it was 2000. <laughs> 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 All right. So he, there's something along the lines of um, his, his kid. Uh, if his kid came home and found out he was gay, he would he would uh, hit him over the head with a guitar or something. What was it? And he said he would have done a bad job as a parent. Right. Uh, they stupid tweets. Yeah. Horrible tweets. Um, and the, the defense, I think, was comedy and things trying to be funny. So I'm I'm on. He was asked to first of all, he was asked to apologize by the Academy, to which he refused to do. They said you are still welcome to host the Oscars, but you have to apologize if you apologize. He refused to. Got asked to leave. And then he apologized. He left and apologized. Right. It, it, yeah. it was a really strange really order of things, yeah. too. First of all, he wouldn't apologize because he claimed he had already apologized. Right, for an article like previously in some magazine a while ago. Which, when I, when I started looking it up, it, he really didn't apologize. What he said was, I wouldn't make those jokes today because of the times and how right. people would take it. 
which is not really an apology, in, in my opinion. But also, if you already have apologized and the Academy's asking you to, and you already feel sorry, just say sorry again. Yeah. So then when they give him the ultimatum to decide, no, I'm not going to do what you guys are asking, and then to apologize. Right. What? Well, here's here's the thing. The first thing is, is let's let's take it's like this is it's touchy because for comedians in general, right? I think if he tells, even though not very funny, right? Yeah. If he tells these this story and does it in a Kevin Hart way, and he does it on stage at the Laugh Factory, or the Comedy Store, again, crafts the jokes, makes them touchy subjects. We were talking with Brian Holtzman and everything. It's in his right to try to do those jokes, whether you like them or not, right? Now. The difference is here with the Academy. The Academy, first of all, said, hey, we want you to do this. Just apologize for these things. That's, our, that's, our, that's what we want from our, for our business, for, yeah. for what we want from you. We're hiring you. What we would like you to do is this. No. Okay. Well, then it's our business. We're going to have to let you go. Yeah. They so had every right to do that. They had every right to do it. Now, it's, people, again, can go and say whether it's people are making it about – Comedians and telling jokes, or whether it's black and white, or the, these types of things, I think that the academy, for because they asked, they didn't just cut them loose right away. They asked them to apologize. That was the stipulation. If he if he apologized, they would keep him. He didn't. So that was it. Okay, fine. So he basically just told us to go fuck ourselves. Yeah. Um, it's exactly what a lot of people wished had happened with James Gunn. Not all people, but that Disney had given him the opportunity, the at least the chance to say something, apologize, try to reconcile for what right. he had it's done. An interesting but, point. But, yeah. Yeah. but they didn't. They just right. let him go. But yeah. with Kevin Hart, I think that this was society trying to learn a little bit from that. Yeah, it was It was tough. It was, it was a, It's an interesting thing because, once again, the comedic – because of who he is as a comedian. It's also why, once again, going back to the fact of why people should stay off Twitter. Twitter, in general, I know this is 2009, Twitter is not, uh, it, it doesn't translate, the same way if you're texting back and forth with someone. It does not translate yeah. at all. Honestly, a lot of the stuff just wasn't funny, but he could have, this is the thing with uh, bringing back the late, great George Carlin. George Carlin said you can make anything funny, to which I agree with, depending on how you... And who you deliver are it, it depends it. on who you are. Depends on how you deliver it. Depends on how it's how it's said. Mm -hmm. um, and it could have been funny if if maybe he did this whole sketch or did some things or turned it back around. It could have eventually been funny. Doing it in text, bad move. Yeah. Did you see Nick Cannon then? I did. Yeah. He then goes after Amy Schumer, Sarah, Amy Schumer, Silverman. Sarah Silverman pulls right. up their old tweets with strong wording. They're not hi they're not they're not hired for the Oscars. Exactly. And they, and they but, haven't refused but he to was apologize. pointing, but he was pointing the barrel of those tweets, as I'm calling it, towards Wreck It Ralph and Disney, and saying, "Look at, look at this," and it's, oh, right, awful. Such a dangerous game to be playing. It's, it, it is. It really is. It's. It's now we're establishing something that anybody is is not safe. Yeah. Like for whatever you set you like. And I'm seeing that culture now in people like, you know, I've seen some people go out on Twitter and saying, like, F you, I don't care. Pull, you know, th these are my tweets. I'm standing Dorian by, out there? I don't know. Is, 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 uh, check uh, if, we'll take a look right now. Yeah, check if Dorian's out there. I'd like to, if, if so, bring him in the, bring him in the booth because I, I want to I get, get his opinion on this situation too. Um, it just, he's here. We're going to bring him in. Yeah, bring him into your, into your booth. I want to ask him some questions about it. I just don't understand if you, if you do feel sorry for something you did. And they're asking you to say sorry, and you want the job, just say sorry. Right. And that, that's yeah, he had said this is the life dream of his. Yeah. 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 Like, right. Which is so sad. Then, then maybe think. make it. Then yeah. maybe ha make it happen because right. it's attainable. If you and you're claiming you are sorry because you've already apologized. So it, it just was so to me. This is somebody putting their foot down for no reason and right. a lack of humility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe they didn't. Maybe he's trying to. Maybe they called his bluff. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Is Dorian in there? No, he's busy right now. Oh, great. No. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Um, okay. Well, there what you did go. you, why, what was your thought well, process? I, because, again, a lot of times when we are, the, the four of us are sitting here, we're all white, you know? And that is true. I want, we, it's true, right? <laughs> um, and I think that sometimes I'll be like, well, you didn't have anybody in, a, you know, a person of color in there to get their their conversation too, and I think that it is very, it, it's a it's it's a thing that people have been throwing out there. It's a thing that people have been saying. Is it because of race? Is it because he was a comedian that had tore t 
told bad jokes? Is it was there a vendetta against him? It's like I I also value Dorian's opinion very much when it comes to social issues uh, like this too because he started Geeks of Color. Um, he has been. You talk about someone who fights the good fight. He knows how to fight the good fight. I agree. Yeah. He Dorian does not just throw rocks at people. He puts love and effort and work into everything he does. A and just shows. million percent. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to talk to him. I want to get his honest opinion on it. I, if I had to guess, which is not fair because he's not in here, yeah. but I I think that he probably would think that Kevin Hart should have apologized or or should have lost the yeah, job. Yeah, or, or maybe not. I mean, that's yeah, maybe not. We, so what, what's he working on? Because I really would like to get his point of view on this. Uh, he got pulled away for something. All right, uh, bother him. I want. I want. Really want to talk to him about this. Should because Brett go talk to him. What no, do you think? No, no, because if could we, we ask stupid Cobster? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, well, any of you guys. I mean, so Cobster, Alex. Do you, any, does anybody in there think that they that they sh- that they reacted harshly? I think everyone's very reactionary for a lot of things. I was really upset with the James Gunn stuff, and I, I understand what he tweeted was a dumb thing to tweet. But to outright fire him without any kind of due process, and it's just, it just, it's really annoying. You can't, you can't get away. You, you, everything that you say, everyone's walking on pins and needles, right? And it's just really annoying. It's but really then, did annoying. you like that the academy actually did not do that, and in fact gave him an option? No, oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's the the right thing to do. It's right. like, hey, you said this shit, you, whether you meant it or not. Can you just apologize for it if you want to still do the gig? Because at the end of the day, it's their gig. You know, it's, right. it's their thing. It's their rules. Cool. And and yeah, even if you option, apologize before, like, what what is how hard is it to say I'm sorry again that maybe people right. didn't hear that apology right. or see that apology? Have any yeah. of you guys ever done anything like cheated on somebody or made them not trust you, and then you apologize, and then like a year later into the relationship? By the way, I've never cheated. on on anybody yeah. but i've done some effed up things right. you're into the relationship there's insecurities what do you do you keep apologizing mm-hmm. because right. if you're sorry then you're sorry or you get a new you get a new relationship or you, yeah. get a new relationship. <laughs> you start or a new one relationship. Right. Or and, the relationship and that's what yeah. he did and he's just a like relationship. Nope, i'm not gonna that's what he did he's yeah. doing the golden globes he yeah. got into a different no no there you go yeah. who is doing the golden globes no <laughs> kevin hart he's, he's got a new relationship no, but who, do we know who's hosting the golden um i hope it's ricky gervais yeah no, no it's not. he never says anything bad nothing's confirmed yet well well let me ask a question though too because it's one of those things like why it, I guess it goes back to the fact that because he, he was hosting the Oscars, but why is Eminem stuff um, still okay? You go back and listen to some, and I love Eminem. You go back and listen to some of his. There, there is some absolute horrendous. When you say it's okay, by what means do you mean it's okay? What do you mean? What's okay? When you, like, because he isn't being asked to do any of these things. It's okay with who? Well, in gen- people aren't going after him if they wanted to go because if you went through everybody's tweets and everybody's mm-hmm. lyrics and everybody, I guess because the reason why you could say that Eminem says that a lot of his stuff is character or satire, right? So you mm-hmm. can get away with it. But then could and then Kevin Hart could say, <clears throat> you know. I, this was in characters as as a far me being comedy it's you know a comedian but he didn't say that he, i mean he, he did he leaned on the comedy it was it was set for comedic tone that he was he was embarrassed for but it's um but again it's because he was set for this job yeah and he was set for this job. big job so so go back to that guys i'm sorry so andy samberg and, and sandra, sandra oh, oh yeah are going to be doing the golden globes oh, yeah. Oh, like what that. an interesting combo! Okay, yeah. What's um, Sandra O oh working on these days? What's she on? She's, she's on e- that killing the killing. What's uh, it called? Killing yeah. Eve. Yeah. Killing Eve. No, she hasn't been on that in a couple what of is years. This? Killing it's Eve. Still one on? of the biggest shows. It it's like supposed to be one of the best rated shows, but uh-huh. I don't watch it. Yeah. Am yeah. I making up the title? Killing Eve. Killing. Killing yeah. Eve. Oh, killing Eve. Is. Yeah. Oh, Killing Eve. And do we know, and so have there been, I know the only rumor that I saw that people really have been pushing towards Eddie Murphy to try to get him, because remember, he was supposed to do the Oscars well, a couple right? years ago, and then the that Brett was Ratner around the Dream down. Girls time, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. I want to say did, it was. What but. did Brett Ratner have to do with Eddie Murphy? Brett Ratner was supposed to direct the Oscars, right? Oh. And then all that stuff went down with him, and then he, they, they told him to get lost, and Eddie Murphy was like, I'm not doing it without... Right. right. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, because well, because they, they were they were tight because of they worked on that movie together. Tower Heist. Yeah. Com- yeah. Comedy is a th- th- this whole thing is about that comedy and specifically comedians amongst each other. They're trying. It's being edgy, always being and trying to push that envelope. And I think sometimes people just even knee jerk go like, "Oh yeah, this is out there," and then right. you know. It shoots them in the you know they're they're trying to get the it's you're trying to get the comedians yeah. in the is back he, as they say. Is what, he religious? What, I wonder uh, if Kevin Hart's religious. 
I don't know, but I don't have a problem. No, sorry, I have a huge problem with what he said, but I don't have an unforgivable problem with what he right. said. I have a, ooh, that wasn't a good joke. You should apologize yeah. problem. Right. If he had come out and been like, guys, it was a long time ago. I don't. I didn't even feel that way then. I don't feel that way now. It was a crappy joke. That's what it was. Right. I really do support the LGBTQ community, and I apologize to anybody I offended. I would have been like, okay. Yeah, yeah, and I think he did kind of right. Didn't he post something? He was After in. He yeah, it was like it was a whole was like article, yeah. wrong order. No, yeah. then he did this some late night. I heard it on the radio. It was some late night thing. He was in the whole thing was handled Australia yeah. or something, and, and yeah. he totally apologized. Yeah. and it's like well, and, and said something great. Right. Yeah, and but that's like, probably a publicist saying, "Hey, dude, it's it's gonna yeah. you're gonna be in trouble here." Yeah, now, yeah. now we're now we're we're playing into the uh, to the next couple movies we're about yeah. to do here. Don't yeah. worry about the Oscars anymore. Now, yeah, now now you gotta you gotta play catch up here for your career. We got Jumanji 2. That, right. Right? What's happening? I mean, yeah, there's a I, lot of things it, that he was working on and people, and now that starts to bleed over. Yes. And the studios are going, wait a minute. Yep. I don't know if I want to be associated with this guy's not apologize. We have, we, and then the, the communities are, are go, getting angry at the guy now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, he, yeah, I agree with you. If you go out right up top and say, look, it was 2009. It was a, an attempt at a dumb joke that landed terribly. Uh, I am I'm sorry. I'm sorry the Academy was offended. I'm sorry to the community that I offended. And I am ready to host this thing and get this all behind me. I think people would have been like, all right, stupid. You shouldn't have said it. It looks like he's remorsed here and too. And people just kind of looking to, for some shit. To I don't throw know if everybody would have. A lot of people. I would have, yeah, definitely. I, I, think, I think it would have been a little bit more, but we'll see. But I think our guests are here, yes? Yes, they are. All right, so Ricky and Elliot, the two maniacs, are, are here, and we're going to uh, we're gonna bring them. Where are we going to sit them? Yeah, because, uh, yeah I will. Uh, uh, how about they sit here and okay. we stand? Oh, I would ooh, like to have them fun. right, right in well, the... Let's get the boys in here. Brett, yes. love that suggestion. <laughs> yeah, yes. There you are. Even more downgraded. I, I, lo I love <laughs> Dewberry Walk. Wise? Dewberry okay. walking in are with a red live? cup scares yes. me. Yeah. And we yeah. have one microphone. This is cool. Oh, yes. Oh, so so we're going to have to share it. There we go. Yeah, What's guys? up, we're Collider we're fans? <laughs> wow, well, Barry. Right, here we go. There we go. Get another one. Okay, good. Like All right. So let's, let's, you did let's, it with this other Ricky, give that, too. Give that one to him. Burries. Yeah. All right. So nice and you sit here. Yes, sir. Okay. We brought you a, a gift. You did? What is this? <laughs> Can I open it on air? It's some merch. Yeah, it's merch? It's, uh, it's a oh, Patreon exclusive, but, but you know. I, oh, look at this. I like it. All right. So we'll, we'll hang it on the wall. Can, can we see that? Yeah. I don't know. I want to see. It. You can see it. Here. Can I come? Show Roxy the poster. We can show her. What's up, boys? Chilling. Thanks for doing? having us. Yeah. Your course. What? I've <laughs> never been in this small room. It's very this hot first in time. here. I wore a jacket and I don't need it. You don't need it. I took my, Show I took off my more own. merch. You guys yeah. both have exclamation points in your signatures? Uh, you it's should. very aggressive. I have yeah. two signatures. I have my like banking signature, which is hideous. Yeah. Which I feel bad using on merch for fans because they're like they're, they're gonna, gonna steal your identity. They're, well, I they're, think they like they're it, just though. gonna be like, what the fuck is this chicken scratch? So I invented an entirely second signature. For signing merch, oh yeah, and it just says Elliot exclamation point. That's it. Yeah, I like it. And Ricky. it's YouTube. You gotta be. You gotta be on. You gotta be yeah, excited. Yeah, I know. I get it. well, it's all caps in the headlines. All ridiculous things in the thumbnails. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I want to tell. I want to tell your guys' story here to the audience that doesn't know because there's there's a lot of um it's a lot of history with just the the schmoes and yeah. uh, and the oh, not even the etc. We were Ricky, early adopters. Yeah. You, well, you were. So f what's funny is that I think we did the. Mark and I had to do the Battleship premiere, and you yeah. were you were our, you weren't even on camera yet. You were like our you were no, doing I was, camera or something. Yeah, I was producing and filming and running audio. Yes, yes, and you were doing the, that. the YouTube Renaissance man job of uh, just do everything. Mm -hmm. That's what it yeah. was. Yeah, yeah, and then we started doing the the, the shows like weekly show at Machinima, and Ricky was our producer over there too, and you hadn't done camera stuff. On camera yet? Yeah, no, we would like appear in things, but right. we were behind the scenes completely, and uh, that was a fun show because back then uh, YouTube was, uh, well, it was different in a lot of ways. But Very one of the different. main ways that it was different was that um, everyone above me was like, guys, shows they can't be any longer than three minutes, and we're like, okay, so we're filming a basically an hour long show with uh, Mark and Christian, yeah. and you want that to be three minutes long? And finally, <laughs> it got to the point where I was like, how about five minutes? And they're like. Uh, well, I guess so, like, the shows were so like erratic feeling yeah. when they were finally done. Like it was great watching it film live, and then having to like cut that down into like there was just like minutes and minutes yeah. and minutes just left 
there was so much to stuff the that ether. We, yeah, it was it was it was just Mark and I kind of in a very relaxed two chairs talking about things that were going on and with comedic you know comedic touch to it. But like Ricky's saying, we had to cut it down, and that show went for like five six months or whatever it was. Yeah, but then, yeah. then afterwards, I start seeing you guys together, and it just it hit. I mean, the comedy between the two of you guys, and you ran your show for how long? Well, at Machinima? Yeah, in general. Machinima, Machinima turning into then ETC. I, uh, it's should, five no, years now? I don't even remember which year specifically. Yeah, yeah. it's all it's 2014. Such a blur. Something along, like 13, 14. Yeah, yeah. It was something like that. I think it's been, <laughs> next year will be five years. Right. So Forgive me because yeah. I don't know. What is what is your show? What do you guys talk about? Uh, we talk about. Um, well, we started doing movie stuff basically because that was the big, like, YouTube gold mine is just talking about movies at all. And then when we took over the show, it became a lot more of just general absurdity in the news, I would say. And like, yeah, di- kind of dissecting just standard news right. and breaking it down into a way oh, that's... Well, then let's, let's throw this at you, too. We were just talking about it. What's your stance on... We were just talking about the Kevin Hart thing. Oh God. What's your stance on it? Yeah, I mean, that's... Like I the, mean, I... I, he, I, got, I got into it with... I mean, we, we talked about this in a video, and like, I kind of got into it on Twitter about it. But I mean... There's a lot of angles to it. I, I can sum up my opinion basically with apologizing isn't hard and is good to do in a lot of situations. And he should have just fucking did it. He yeah. says it was his dream job for like his whole life. And if that's the case, like it shouldn't be that hard to say, look, I may have said some things that uh, people took to mean that I actually personally don't like gay people. And I'm sorry that I gave that impression. Right. Unless he actually thinks that, yeah, which is uh, very, that, very that, potential for the truth, that, considering how little he backed the down. The way on it him. played right. out, now I'm just like, wait, is Kevin Hart actually homophobic? <laughs> and it's just like he could have avoided me even having to consider right. that. Right? If he would have, <laughs> if he would have up top said dopey things that I did that thought were funny in 2009, I apologize who I offended, and the place that hired me right. wants me to apologize. So, so that's my thing: is yeah. like, if you're a stand-up comedian and you. Whatever joke you want to do, and it's your career, you can do whatever you want with it. But, and, and it, it's another the whole thing with the Oscars just being so up its own ass. Like, and it, it should be. It is the biggest night for not just people that you see on screen, but the dozens or hundreds of people that work behind the scenes of those movies. It's their night to finally get recognized for the hard work that right. they've done. Right. So that's the thing. If his own career, whatever, don't apologize. I don't care. Everyone has said stupid shit in the past. They've made dumb jokes, whatever. There's a weird standard that everyone's held by now. But if it's the Oscars just asking you to do that and right. you really do want that job, then if you want right. the job, it's you should. It's business, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let yeah. me ask you guys this then. If it is so easy to apologize, if this is his dream job, then why wouldn't he? Because he I'm might confused, actually yeah. be yeah. homophobic. So you think that's the only reason uh, that he well, would Well, it's also, he, I mean, he kind of has a history of being a little too, like, proud. Uh, so it could be pride. Because there was, like, a whole thing where he, I mean, he, like, cheated on his ex-wife a whole bunch. And, like, he had a hard time, like, really taking any responsibility for that, too. Wow, I feel like he really took responsibility for that. Not right away. It, it eventually his, did. Yeah, with his Instagram post and coming out. It with, took him a while. Yeah, that was the problem. Now, Offset and Cardi B, he's already <laughs> tweeting. He misses her so much. Right. <laughs> Immediate regret. Right. Um, but look, <laughs> so that I think everybody's on the same page there for sure. But I do want to switch into something else, too, because Ricky yells at me sometimes. Uh, <laughs> after, after we see movies together, Ricky Ricky and I have normally, a lot of times, on the on the opposite sides. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, but I tweeted out before I you got a chance. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but Spider-Verse. No, I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. No. So I tweeted out about Spider-Verse that I thought that Spider-Verse right now is probably, I mean, that and Homecoming are probably the two best Spider-Man movies. And he said, everybody just shits on the Raimi movies. And that is not the case at all. I respect the Raimi movies very much for what they did. One and one two and were two. fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. But they don't hold up as much now the way they used to. Well, that's to. because you haven't had a 15 years for these to not hold up True. yet. And I'm that's about today's other... standards. Well, yeah, but today's standards are today's standards. They're not 2002 standards. So yeah. in 15 years, if there's something even better, then you're going to be like, well, I mean, compared to this, those might it's not possible. hold up. Very possible. But what I'm saying is, like, it, it's so funny that it, just in general, like, People look back on stuff that's cheesy, and they're just like, "Yeah, that sucked." I thought it sucked then, and it's like, "No, I love those." Yeah. When, when I saw that movie in theaters, I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen, and like, yeah, now it might get mocked or made fun of because it's kind of cheesy and like, whatever. Looking back is different, but 
at the time, like, I was the perfect age for it. I was, like, yeah. I don't know, 17 or 16 or so something like that. So the nostalgia has a lot to do with it, too, though. Yeah, it? but no? it was the moment of me being there in the theater, and, like, and it was brand new, and you had really never seen a superhero movie like that that looked that good. Right. And, you know, it was it was post-9-11. We all needed a little cheering up. Yeah. Uh, it was the perfect movie for that. I don't know. It, it, it just it, it hit me in a way that was harder than – and I do love Homecoming, and I, from what I've heard, Spider-Verse is great. Haven't seen it yet. Um, but – yeah, it just it always feels like people kind of like backhand a lot of movies yeah. that were that were better than I think people take them for. Oh, I don't shit on that movie the same way I don't shit on 1989 Batman. Um, oh, 1989 that's probably my favorite Batman movie. Masterpiece. Yes. It's, it's a, it's, <laughs> right. front to back right. masterpiece. See, I, see, I can't call it that. What year I, was it? 1989. It was yeah. in what? Which year? I don't know. The 1980. Yeah, it was 89, remember. I believe. Guys, it was 89. I got to tell you. I hate when you set up sound bites. I hate that. Don't so do much. that. Don't do that on the air. Dude. Okay, fine. Don't do oh, that on the air. Tell later. Don't do that on the air. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's like, yeah. Um, but it was. We, 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 we tried to do it, and now, now it's gone. It now was, it's it was gone. A bit. Um, I legitimately loved Breaking and Breaking Two. I was that age. I didn't think it was cheesy. If I watch that now, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, Flash it's Gordon. Ridiculous Flash Gordon film. is Flash Gordon is ridiculous, and I love it. And I will. And I almost threw Makuga out of here because, or whoever it was, because. <laughs> Who wants some great movie trivia? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but so, break into Electric Boogaloo. John Claude Van Damme. It was uh, produced by uh, two brothers. Oh. Uh, Alan Debevois and... Uh, I think it was written by them. Oh, uh, well, anyway, those guys uh, later purchased a little website called Machinima.com. Really? And invested a ton of seed money into making it one of the biggest powerhouses online. So, yeah, that, Only well, a that movie to was responsible for us. <laughs> 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 that movie was literally responsible for wow. our jobs. Breaking 2 wow. is much bigger than it seems it, at yeah, first glance. It is. The story yeah. behind it. So that should be like all a, of its parts. Wow. Big, it should be a 30 for 30. Not the story only did they save two. the miracle, but yeah. they saved you. Yeah. 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 So I would love to see that in the Schmodown. Like, what movie was Shifted resulted in the creation of ETC cinema. and Internet right. Today. What? All right, so let's go back to that then, the ETC. So you guys are now, you're, you're rogue, right? Yeah. You're on your own. So what, what happened? What, what, what uh, ETC? Well, now in, in hindsight, uh, <laughs> we, the, the we, we best got course the bullet, in, I think. Yeah, it's because, uh, uh, yeah, basically, like, we were um, very politely told that after the Warner acquisition that... Things might be what, different. What we do, like... We were making money, but it just like it wasn't part of any like existing larger strategy for the company. Like we were just kind of like this weird department that had managed to survive for right. like years and years despite everything else going into. And we were siloed direction. off completely. Yeah, like remember, no yeah, one yeah, came yeah. and talked. Like there was no, which was a good thing. You're right. Because we never got cr you critiques yeah. or notes or hey do this, hey do that, which was good because right, just, just knew that it was and the, the end is always so, so end could always like, be near though. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we were making money, so it was like, well, right. let's not jump the gun here. Like let's. Yeah, stick Let's around. Let's take them for all they got. One hundred percent. But yeah, eventually, yeah, they were just like, all right, yeah, Warner. They, you know, unless you guys want to like do just a, a really, a really or... positive, uh, optimistic show about DC Comics or like Warner Brothers movies or games. Can I come? Oh, they offered. They offered <laughs> you guys. They offered. No, you no, no. That, we I, I, like they were trying to for a little while there. They were trying to like steer us into. Yeah, they're stuff like, hey. like that, and it's just like this is the worst fit ever. Like, you want us to make a movie talking about how great Batman versus Superman was? Like, after we've shit on it for a year and a half, yeah, and it, it's not gonna happen. I, to, to to clarify though, they absolutely never were like we would we we both did not like Suicide Squad or right. Justice League, and we're very outspoken about that. And there was never a knock on the door being like, hey, why'd you why'd right. you do that? Right. But but yeah, it was very much towards the end being like, hey, like how can we all work together? Yeah, with with the company more, and it was just like we we were not really doing movie stuff as much, and we weren't doing we were doing gaming stuff, which they still kind of were doing, but it was just it was a very it was very obvious. It's like if, if you're in a bad relationship, eventually, like instead of just like having a terrible breakup, both both people just looked at each other and went, you know what, this isn't working. We can do let's just live our own lives. It was right, kind of like right. that kind of situation. Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty amicable. Yeah. The, people, the people running production there, they were extremely accommodating. Yeah, they gave like, us a long runway to get started. Um, on. So, yeah, so we... But, Financially you know. speaking, were you guys nervous, though? Yeah. Um, kind of, but... We I, saved. Both of us had, like, really gotten into, like, saving money, like, a year before, and, like, thank God. Planning for it? Not even that, just like... Adulting. We were adulting, yeah. 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 So, like, yeah, once, I mean, 
Yeah, it, it, we, it got to a point where it's like, yeah, if I don't make any money for the next like four months, that's fine. I yeah, trying to get have enough going. saved up. Both of us at the time knew that we were going to get engaged within the next couple of years and probably. To each other? Mazel tov. Yeah, uh, no, <laughs> uh, Elliot got married this year. I get married next year. But we, we kind of knew like you can look forward and see like, OK, I'm I'm of the age where I should probably take life a little bit more seriously and not just like spend a m money going to like a festival or something right, like I should right. probably put money away uh, but yeah so we for like a house and shit yeah <laughs> all that dumb shit yeah. Um, so yeah we were saving for a while so it hit a little like just by happenstance hit a little less hard plus they did give us that runway to get things started which was no, they don't have. No company has to do that. No, right. And they were very gracious to That's like cool. let us do so that. So no, no hard feelings. Actually, it was pretty. It was pretty good. No, no. So, so you guys were able to. They made all their mistakes with everything before us. Right, and you and you and you watch <laughs> yeah. it. Everything else with you guys kind of worked pretty smoothly. Yeah. Then you go and you start your own thing together, and you're doing what? Your Patreon and uh, what's Patreon. Uh, we got cup. YouTube uh, channel memberships unlocked recently. Finally, oh, yeah. Cool. And like, yeah. Um, yeah, that that was stressful setting up because like you never know, right. you, like you don't know how like views and subscribers are going to translate into like how many people are actually willing to like pay money for something they already get for oh, free, or you know, even come yeah, over yeah. from your previous show. Like we had no idea the response that we were going to get from right. people transferring over. Um, but yeah, I mean, we con t always talk about how. If it wasn't for Patreon, it would have been a very short experiment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because getting the ball rolling on YouTube monetization takes months, starting from zero, and YouTube monetization is bad. Uh, so if Patreon didn't exist and we didn't, like, we finally were able to secure a sales deal on some kind, like, two episodes usually a week. Yeah. Like, all those things, like, that still, still, that came like four months after we started the channel. So it would have been like August. We would have been like, oh, this isn't working. We'll probably have to go, right? Do work, whatever. Go get a real job somewhere and and start doing that DC show. Move to <laughs> Riverside. Yeah. Right. Move to Irvine. Move to yeah. anywhere. No, yeah. I know. I mean, listen. If it, if it wasn't for Patreon, uh, we would have ended Schmodown last season. So yeah. it, it it's been helpful. It's, isn't it crazy? Like I could have never predicted, like a generation that uh, ten years ago like wasn't even willing to pay for like movie rentals was just illegally downloading right. fucking everything right yeah. somehow uh became extremely generous for paying for like youtubers i think <laughs> they feel like they're really helping you know exactly where your money is going like yeah. I, I have been so grateful to my patrons that are even when I slack off and I'm like a week late on something or whatever it is they know that they're paying my rent like, yeah. they know that they're legitimately, like, this is where my money is going. I appreciate her, or I appreciate you guys, or I appreciate the Shmodown. And without this, it all shuts down. Right. And yeah. I think, and part of that, too, is for the way that I've approached it, is that you want to, I don't want to approach it to where they feel that they're, like, donating. I want them to feel like they're getting they, something, like they're purchasing. Like, yeah. and it's and it's one of these things to where I want to treat I treat the Schmodown like like Netflix. You know, it's like you get this at a tier, you get this, you get this, you yeah. get. It's like it's you, I want to. We all want to put out quality stuff, mm -hmm. so that way when they're getting it, it's not like they're like, oh, I'm just donating to this person can just pay their bills. It's because now I know I'm gonna. I look forward to every Friday when that audio download comes in from Roxy. I know. Yeah, that this it's comes a combination in. of both. Yeah, as opposed to like a uh, Screen Junkies Plus where I was before, where it was like, all right, I'm gonna give five bucks. I don't know where to that's some company. Going. Yeah, to the yeah. company. Yeah. Right. I I know I'm getting content, but I don't know who's getting that money. I right. don't know where that's going. I see what you're saying. So yes. it's like a combination of both. Yes, you're getting the content, but now with Patreon, it's not just going to something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think yeah. that's that's the transparency also <laughs> yeah. with Patreon to where like, I'm sure you guys do the same thing to where we'll we'll say this pays for the competitors, it pays for the rent, it pays yeah. or it's gonna pay for the I need a new camera. The... This is for my lighting, right. this is for yeah. the sound. Right, like, right, right. And then cheap, and they know where it goes. So yeah, it's, we try it's... to keep our overhead pretty low, but it's yeah. uh, you know, and it, we're just two people. We have no editors, right. no writers, nothing. We edit our own videos, we shoot everything, we do everything for it. Uh and then like it was like like Saturday. We spent all day Saturday Doing uh, so, there's a tier, yeah, there, <laughs> yeah. So there's a tier that gets postcards and a tier that gets posters, and so all day Saturday was just let's get Patreon done now. My hands get still her. a little bit sore. Yeah. I don't know how Stan Lee was able to do that for so long. Seriously, yeah. yeah. I know. I, I, I again, he had a guy putting his arm through his shirt uh, behind him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a really young looking right arm. Yeah. <laughs> was it you who was telling me the other day about the wrestler that just hand prints? Oh, the all sumo wrestler. The, yeah, the no, sumo no, no, wrestler. No, no. Instead of signing things, he just hand, yeah. ink. 
Paper. That's yeah. brilliant. Paper. Yeah. I think Somebody that's a, like a tradition. Andre should have done that back in the yeah. day. You that can't do great. that in America. You get your ID stolen. <laughs> Someone will commit crimes with that piece of paper. I'm sure it happens. Every <laughs> oh my god! Um, America's diabolical. What, what time? What time do we have? Here? We have, so we have ten minutes with the boys. I I want to. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up with you guys, yeah, tons of trailers hit over the weekend. I don't know if you guys got a chance. I to watched see any. Uh, Avengers. You saw the Avengers. Let's get it. We'll, he didn't. Well, I've not uh, seen it. Are oh, you haven't seen the trailer yet? Yeah, because I'm already going to see the movie. That's so you're, you're in Copsers pitch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah at, at this point, you know, if you haven't watched it yet, don't. Yeah. Go in blind. But yeah. I will say it's a very tastefully done trailer. I appreciated that it really doesn't show much. It tells you a few characters you might have been wondering what their status was at the end of Infinity War. It, it lets you know they're going to be there. They're fine. But uh, We've already spoiled it for everybody listening. Yeah, okay. Either. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you know Ant-Man's in it and uh, I believe Hawkeye and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, we'll get into it pretty deep in a, in a little bit here, but um, you, but you enjoyed the trailer. You thought it was good. You, you're going to see the movie regardless, so you don't need to see it. Yeah. No, I I, I yeah. try my best to avoid trailers if I'm unless they're like you know indie films or or something like that. Unless it's where, Detective Pikachu. Oh, I did mm. love that oh. one, but uh, that was hard to <laughs> miss because it was. Wait, some trailers just completely take over the timeline, and some yeah. don't. So it's it's I don't know why Avengers didn't take over my Twitter timeline, but like. I don't know. I, I am gonna see it anyway. I really, really enjoyed uh, the last one, so I it doesn't. It's not gonna affect me one way or the other. Yeah, that's fair. Usually, um, trailers do the opposite. They're like, ah, that because Aquaman apparently is fine. I'm gonna uh, see it today. And uh, yeah. the trailer, I was just today? like, oof. Yeah. Um, Good. The, because the embargo's not until tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right? Yeah. It drops tomorrow. So we can talk about it on tomorrow's show or we no? We can. Yeah, we can talk about it tomorrow's show for sure. Um, do you guys have any uh, movies that, that that stood out? I, we asked. We talked about it the other day. Of our favorite movies, one of the movies I did see that people kept mentioning that I hadn't seen at the time was Blind Spotting. I want to see that. Really good movie. Yeah. Really good. It, it's it's maneuvering. It's one of my favorites of the year. Yeah, now. it's maneuvering into the top Ooh. ten for me for sure. Yeah, um, me too. But for you guys, you got a, you got a, I mean, a top movie that stands out this year. Given all of the like uh, sort of chaos in my life this past year, I think this was my laziest year for like theatrical movies yeah. in probably a decade. Yeah. So I got a lot of like, I'm probably going to be doing some two-a-days during like Christmas week. Catch, yeah. catch up. Yeah. But um, um, love a good I don't know, I, I really liked Sorry to Bother You just because it was so just I like unique yeah. and uh, um, I just really like Lakeith Stanfield um, and uh, what, good Quiet Place, I liked that. I, I can't Did even Phantom remember like come out what, this year. That was, was last year, right? Year. No. That was, was last, last year. year. I mean, yeah. My least favorite movie of last year. Oh, what? I loved it. Yeah. I've got a lot of twat takes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm, I, whatever anyone says, I just am naturally like the opposite. It's just like, oh, you hated that? It no. was great. I still yeah. haven't even seen that. And I'm a huge P.T. Anderson so, fan. I haven't seen it. I either. love, uh, I was very yeah. surprised by it. I waited three weeks to see it, but I loved Venom. Because oh. everyone hated it, and I went in and I'm like, "Here we go!" And was like, "That was a complete." I had a blast the entire time. Yeah, yeah well, like after hearing your take, not not on the not on Spider-Man Two per se, but the reasoning why, like mm -hmm. your reasoning behind it, I understand exactly why you liked Venom because Venom to me was a very throwback kind of '90s comic book, the way yeah. they used to make comic book movies. Yeah, and the people who embraced that really enjoyed it. And, yeah, and there were so many people that enjoyed that movie. I'm looking at. Two of them right now. I don't know how you felt about it. I didn't see it. All right. I, I couldn't. Yeah. I, I kept waiting for them to take it seriously at some point and ruin everything, but it was never. It never reached the point where I thought that they were taking it too seriously, yeah. and I just was surprised, really, by how much of a joke the movie was. It was yeah. a. I I had read like things on Twitter that were like. It's a buddy cop comedy between the two of them. Like how? And then I watched it and I was like, wow! It really, it really, was, it really yeah. is just a slapstick. It's like Bad Boys, but with yeah. Eddie Brock and, and Venom. Wow. You're cool Tell Makuga that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, he, he'd probably love that. Speaking of Makuga, the fans would um, would really get mad at me if I didn't at least mention the Wild Berries here. Too. Yeah, Wild um, Berry. Do I have? I gotta. Get I should have worn the shirt. I, I pumped yeah. the blood yeah, a little faster. Now part of the Wild Berries too. Now how how does the yeah, go ahead give it give it a, give it a whirl. Wild berries. There you go. So blew out your fucking why, audience. Yeah. Why, do, why do you think the audience has responded so much then? Because it's it's like I can't. I knew that the fans would like you guys. Well, a lot of them don't. <laughs> <laughs> not, way, way more. Way more do. You guys easily are you kidding me. You I don't know why I do it, but I, I go I don't see a lot of hate. No, you're like two and I three. I don't know. I go on the Facebook like the master thread after some of the matches, and like yeah, it's mostly positive, but like the negativity, like the few negative posts are like extremely negative, and it's fascinating to me because it's like there's there's 
two groups of people in Smodown fans. There's the ones who watch it specifically for the trivia and the competitive aspect, and then there's ones who watch it for like the WWE aspect. Right. And I think Wildberries is like firmly in the WWE 100%. side of things. <laughs> right. uh, yeah, that's I what I know. watch it for. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I'm, more and more people these days do, which is which is great. Back it was a fight to get it there. Now it's even if it's balanced, uh, a lot more people watch it for the story elements and the overall thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, sure. like for me, it's it's just fun. I like, I like hanging out here and doing yeah. the the competition, and occasionally, like it, you know, it, it, when I get a question right, it feels good. <laughs> it's not just routine for me. It's well, uh, there are small victories throughout the match. Um, will the Wild Berries ever win the championship? Um, not the championship. <laughs> <laughs> a champion. Uh, if there's like for some reason like maybe a new. A new belt that comes out where you know, like each round, everyone has to chug a beer. You can win that one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Will we might Smith have a shot with that one. Or... Yeah. That's why, yeah. like, I still, I still think that I am a champion in the sense that I went on the losers bracket yes. uh, competition and lost first, yes, I believe. <laughs> yeah. So technically, King I was of the, the winner. Yeah, it's just, it's just true. Yeah, I, I'm I, the champion of the losers because I lost worst. You might be the worst player in front of <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you know what? At least I'm special. You are. There's people that just no. muddy around but, in the but middle this, but of this, just being like okay at things. No, but this I'm, is what I'm I love. Worst. And this is what I love about you <laughs> when it comes so to this. Great. You have never once. I could put you up against Dan Merle and Ethan Irwin at the same time. You'd say, "All right, yeah, fine." You, you would, you, you yeah, would do it. Let no these guys. Like, it's like it's like uh, he's putting a, 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 like a t ball yeah, for, a for Babe Ruth. It's Barry Horowitz. It's going to yeah. be great. So it's always fun for fans to watch the home run derby Easily. versus a real, real right. baseball yeah. game. Yeah. So. Well, who's the team the Globetrotters play against? <laughs> the, uh, right. That's the, the, the Simpsons joke. It's He's the spinning Habers. the ball on his finger. Right. Just right. take it. It's the Habergs. Yeah. Uh, well, gentlemen, tell us, uh, tell the fans where can they find you? They want to start watching your content. YouTube.com slash Internet Today TV. Patreon.com slash Internet today? Just search Internet today on yeah. YouTube, uh, and then yeah, we're pretty well optimized somehow. Good. Yeah, all things considered. <laughs> Uh, Twitter's and the t and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. Yeah, you'll find it. Just search for it. All right, it's, cool. It, the, the search algorithms these days they do a good job. Well, it was great to have you guys in. We'll yeah. have you guys in again very soon. Wild berries, and we will catch you guys after the break. When we get back, we will all be discussing that Avengers trailer and the other trailers that came out quite a lot. And that Sonic that. there. No, it's not late to the party. That's actually from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You didn't know that? Well, you should, and now you do. Jedi Council. What is it? It's about Star Wars, obviously. It's Jedi Council. Every week, the latest and greatest in Star Wars movie news, myself and Ken Knapsack. That's right, the pit boss himself. We have a guest on, and we talk about everything happening in the world of Star Wars. If it's the movie news, the TV news, canon news, comic books, games. And then we take questions from you guys on Facebook and Twitter. It's a lot of fun. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. I'm still excited talking about it. The fan base is coming together again. I believe it is. I think it is. I hope it is. And we're talking Star Wars, so we like you. That's right. Right. All of you, if you're not a fan of Star Wars, come on over and join us every Thursday for Collider Jedi Council here on Collider Video. And we have an Apple Podcast feed or Podcast One, wherever you want to go if you listen to podcasts. And not only do you get Collider Jedi Council every week on Thursday, The Rule of Two with Mark Fernandez and Mark Riley, that's on every week. I believe it drops on Wednesday. It's on one of these days. It's a good show. You should listen to it. I like it. I listen to it. I haven't listened to it once. Hey, guys. Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com. And if you're a pro wrestling fan, which... I hope you are, even if it's in secret, then you should be checking out Wrestling Sheet Radio Weekly. Uh, we've got a bunch of shows in the podcast feed. We've got weekly recaps for myself and John Roca, which you guys will probably know from the Collider family. Uh, that's for Raw. That's for SmackDown. We've also got the weekly roundup of wrestling news. It's a show I host called Wrestling Sheet Radio with Jamie Iovine and Elijah Bates. And we've also got a bunch of other stuff in our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. So check it out. Subscribe. And I hope you guys dig it. Hey, everyone. Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking in my neighborhood watering hole, I am probably hosting Collider Movie Talk. It's a flagship show here at Collider. I like to say that because I'm the host of it. It's every day, almost. It's four days a week, which is still 
pretty good above 50 percent you can watch it monday tuesday wednesday and thursday 4 p.m los angeles time is when we do it it's live so you can participate in the live chat room go ahead and give us your thoughts on every story we have coming because it's all the latest movie news of the day who did what at the box office what horrible red box movies bruce willis signed on to the dc the marvel the star wars is the lord of the are they making new i think they're they, it's a tv show and we still might talk about it anyway because we love movies around here it's myself and an extra expert panel of guests, including John Roca, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. You guys are going to love this show, and then we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us, so subscribe right here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk, and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and ears. You can listen to Collider Movie Talks feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemiroff a lot more professionally than I run this pirate ship. That's our weekend show where she takes your letters. I don't know if you write them or you email them. You have to ask her. And Afterthoughts, hosted by Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams. I almost said Ryan Williams and Jay Snelling. Would anybody have known the difference? I certainly would. I would have felt bad about it because I'm a nice person, and that's why I host Collider Movie Talk. Check it out in video form or on our podcast feed. What's up, Collider fans? If you are a fan of television and you want to watch a guy that looks like me and a guy named Thad Williams talk about TV every single Friday, subscribe to the Collider channel. Collider Podcast is where you can find the video. Uh, we have our own iTunes feed, hashtag at Collider TV Talk. You can find it on iTunes or wherever you find your podcast and you listen to them in your ear holes. That's where Collider TV Talk comes at you. We talk about TV news. We talk about shows we love, shows that we don't love. And most importantly, we don't read any books because... Because TV has nothing to do with reading. We also have a show called Hypothetical Questions with myself and Roxy Stryer and all kinds of reviews right here at the Collider Podcast channel and the Collider TV Talk feed. Subscribe, rate, like, tell your friends, tell all your friends and tell their friends. And before you know it, it's a pyramid scheme of television. I'm Josh McCuga. You can see Thad Williams and myself along with Roxy Stryer and all the Collider personalities all the time right here on Collider TV Talk. As always, put down the book, pick up the remote. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Movie Manson. Just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week I'm joined by two guest critics of my choice and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. It is fun, it is infectious, it is the Citizen Kane of movie review shows and it's only right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Dates himself. Check it out every Friday at 10 a.m. AM Pacific only on Collider Video. What? You didn't make that pasta, did you? What? No, I did make that pasta. I just uh, Snyder posted something and just made me laugh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Is, is he more I, important than your mother? Yeah. Well, no, he, he posted his, his, tw no, his tweet. Tweeted. No, his, his tweet was. <laughs> He's, oh no, it's other than your mother. I'm no, the most important. A, he just tweeted. I think he just tweeted. He said, "I suppose, I suppose this newspaper is looking for a new copy editor today." Yeah. And you see, and his uh, picture, he just saw there's that, a yeah. picture of Julia Roberts, and she's staring, she's smiling, and she says, "Julia Roberts finds life, and her holes get better with age." <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that's that's the title of this magazine. I I could probably agree with Jeff Snyder that that copy what editor. They, that what were they about. going for? Roles. Roles. Her roles, roles get, better get better with, with age. age. Oh, her acting roles. Oh, I thought that yeah, roles. that thing went out. That a who, lot of who? Who? I mean, whoops. no one picks that no up. One? Whoopsie no. daisies. No one, uh, unless the people who actually did it knew that it, it's this is this is Ralph's call. Look, you want to tell him? Yeah. No, f that guy. I thought you meant whole like holes in her. I holes in her life. Like no, I thought they meant to no, say they meant that. Grand roles, but and and it's just like. You know, you're a, you're you're an idiot. Yeah, you're a moron. Yikes! You're an idiot. It's yeah. like you're, you're fired. You're, mm -hmm. That's that's the end of it. Because yeah, it's so hard to draw the line of what's a fireable offense. That one's not good. No, that, yeah, that one's that, not good. That's that. I mean, that's a a bad headline. You know, for men obvious reasons. Right. But th that's that's something that when you're in this business and you see that, I mean, you have to. It's in a it's a huge H. Yeah. It's not even at like least those her holes don't get worse with age. Yeah, that's true. I would like my hole to get 
better with better age. Better with age. Yeah. You don't have to go to like a fine you wine. You don't need to go to the doctor. Maybe he was complimenting her. I don't think many holes do get better with age. Yeah. Well, if it would have said her holes got worse with age, right. then I think he'd really... This might get a, a little reprimand, but... Right. Yeah. Lucky that the rolls didn't get rotten. Yeah. If the rolls, yeah. if the rolls got rotten with age and they messed that up, yeah, we're in trouble. Ooh, ro- a rotten hole. Wow. Stanky. I wasn't going to say it, but we'll, we'll move on. Nobody wants rotten um, holes. No, let's talk about holes for a half. <laughs> I love that movie. Who passed? <laughs> Check your emails and see who passed on the show. Um, yeah. Let's let's uh, get in. They all passed. Yeah. Let's oh. get into the Avengers here first, and we'll get yeah. into some other stuff. I did watch the trailer. I did uh, get a chance to check it out. I agree with what the boys were saying. I agree with what most people are saying here, too. This is a very well-done trailer because it didn't rely on explosions. Remember, this movie is a $200 million-plus yeah. blockbuster movie, and it's relying on story. Yeah. It's relying on the connection of what we just saw. That, to me... Not on location. Yeah. Not on CG. S- no no, a, no yeah. big money shot no. of the Avengers. We're going to get all that in the yeah. movie. But they didn't rely on it to sell the movie. And that's what I really liked. They, they, it was the emotion of it. It was it was just downy. They, they revealed a couple things throughout it, obviously. No. You, people, the question, Apparently Thanos is back. Thanos is coming back. They, <laughs> it's a big surprise to a lot of people. I was you I was surprised. Yeah. I was surprised that they gave up the uh, Ant Man thing. Yeah, that was a little. I was not surprised. No, no, because I think it was just enough. I, there are a lot of people who are pissed about that. Yeah, I'm not pissed about that. Yeah, because me neither. Because you know he's coming back. It, we're going to this. It was the same reason I really wasn't pissed about Superman being in the Justice League trailers. Come on. Because you know what's going to happen. Come you on. know what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I know it's going to happen. I mean, and, and he's not in the same right. situation. Right. So it's not like now we're revealing that what happens after the snap. It's a different situation. But, but the only thing is, though, is that now we know that they don't get him out of the quantum realm. He gets himself out somehow, and he shows up there. because well, we really don't know what happened. We don't know. But, but he shows up. I mean, he just shows up at the – I mean, I hope that they don't – Disregard it. I mean, they yeah. got to show him. Yeah, or, or, we don't know who helped him though. We don't know how right. he got out. It's right. still such a mystery. We just know that he's there. Did you need it in the trailer though? Could it? I think uh, you could. Here's, I, here's I, I didn't need it, but I did like it a lot, and yeah. I think he does sell a different audience. I I think it it did two things, right? It it added a nice little ha moment at the end because yeah. it was a little bit, you know, it was, it was a dark trailer, yeah. you know, emotionally speaking. Yeah. But, uh, oh, you mean ha's and not ha like, like, We got a laugh. Ha-ha. We got a laugh, and you know, kind of lightened up a bit uh, because we were. It was pretty heavy, yeah. and then that happened. Um, but I thought it was it was a refreshing trailer for me because it didn't give a lot of story except that. Right, it's very apocalyptic. You know, yeah, like, oh, yeah. To where to where you know you have that that feeling of, because look, every, the fifty percent of the population is still around and Thanos the way he made it seem was like, all right, everyone else is toast, go live your lives. Yeah. But it doesn't seem like they're, they're holed up, they're they're waiting to see what's next because I love that line. The one thing inside of that scene was when Captain America goes, is this footage old? Or whatever yeah. he says, is this yeah. footage real? Um, or, or when was this shot? Whatever, whatever he it's says. Like when, yeah, something like, or, because it, he yeah. was one of the, like the little Easter eggs there, you see the pictures of who was dusted. Right. And we Scott Spidey, Lane, you see we Spidey, see, yeah. Shuri. And we, but, but we that see was Ant-Man. that one went and and Scott Lang right. and then well. he appears. Right. Who are my comic book geeks? My big comic book geeks. You? Me? Yes. Tell me about Ronan. What? what Ronan? Are, yeah. So because I. Yeah, I mean, I it's Hawkeye becomes Ronan at one point. So I, I'm I'm not too familiar with it. I'm not too sweaty when it comes to this, but yeah. I know enough that too I sweaty? believe. Too yeah. sweaty. Is that a, a term? That's the the great John Schnapp. John Schnapp. That was John. Oh, that was John yeah. Schnapp's legendary yeah. term. Yeah, you get yeah. sweaty. sweaty. Yeah. Wow. You get so into it, you get yeah. s- you're sweating it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. it's something um, now that we haven't heard it in a little bit. I yeah. forgot. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, but was... yeah, I believe it's very similar to what I, I, I believe we're seeing is that he he uh, kind of I don't know if he's disenfranchised with the Hawkeye persona, Shield, wherever he's working, and he goes off on his own and becomes Ronin or a like a, a, a you know. Wandering it's Samurai. It's almost like the uh, Dread Pirate Roberts. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. And I, that was a great it. reveal, too. Yeah. I loved that. Well, then another thing, should they have revealed that in the trailer? I think, again, we never saw Hawkeye. Everybody always wondered yeah. where was Hawkeye. They didn't reveal the Infinity Hulk. War. They didn't reveal Didn't Hulk. reveal at all. He wasn't even in the movie. Right. And that trailer. gives right. that gives the fans a lot to go off. Of. I have no answers. Okay, this trailer gave me no answers. Zero. So I'm stoked. Other than Scott Lang coming back, you can assume that right. he found something. Now, here, let me ask you this because I saw this online that people are like, Captain Marvel's in the van. Mm. You know that that's that, like that's why he's there. 
I got Captain Marvel in the van. I, I'm not buying that just yet. Wait, did, because they saw like they no, I think it's just wondering. What what do we always no, do facts, with these? Twitter we facts. start to yeah. the Twitter facts, <laughs> or we start talking and speculating. What could it be? And when is she going to show? Now, up? Brett, someone who's uh, more the casual fan here goes to see the movies with the kids too. What do you think of this trailer? Yeah, it was good. I, I again, I, I just watched it because I didn't want to sit here silently. Um, I wouldn't have How watched. Working out for I you? wouldn't have watched <laughs> it. If it, I hadn't been doing this show, I, right. because I'm like Hopster, I just it's something I'm gonna see, and it really I, I don't I don't want anything spoiled really, and I, th- I think uh, one of these guys said it was about like with something independent, something I've never heard of, I'll watch a trailer or something. But if it's something like this, I don't. And it didn't. It, it was it was decent. Yeah, I mean it yeah. didn't. You did see Infinity War, uh, recently. You see yeah, the movie. yeah, yeah. I did see it recently. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cody, did you see the trailer? Really? He's not here. Where is he? He, he, Adam's not here all week. Yeah, Cody's not here. Cody no. and Adam are not here. I've been switching the whole show. Yeah. Oh, so that's why you hate. That's why you snap before. Okay, I, I, that makes snap, more sense. Well, yeah, about the about the sound bites. That makes more oh, sense now. Okay. But yeah, if you're by, he if you're had by, a different oh, no, opinion. Yeah, just, yeah. Well, he's by himself. That's what the what, hell's uh, Beardo doing? Yeah. Where's Beardo? What's Beardo? <laughs> Beardo. What? Uh, yeah, Beardo. What I finally I finally saw um, uh, Star is Born. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think? <laughs> a. Uh, yeah. uh, all right. Well, cops is all by himself. I give him. I, wow. I didn't know that. Where's what's Alex doing? Is he just running around sweating? No, he's helped me out with the images and stuff. All right, yeah. that's fine. Okay. Well, cops are then. Uh, he, he was I'm eating sorry, sweets. I didn't know you were by yourself. No, it's okay. Where is where is Cody? What's he doing? By himself. Um, yeah. He's uh, doing sports time. Yeah. Which oh. Where Ellis is oh, also. Oh, is that is Adam? So, so he's got That's go why through. Adam is out. Yeah. So why? Yeah, did, yeah, yeah. I'm just curious. Why didn't Remsen do sports time? Is Remsen out too? Uh, 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 Remsen's editing right now. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're we're booked. It's gonna be a great week. Wow. There's got a lot of shit going on. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot. So Adam's out all week. Yes, sir. That's mm-hmm. cool. Do we have guests this week? Um, we, we do. Know. We have no. We don't. Yeah. We, we do. Have we had guests today. Yes. Yeah. We have. Yeah. That's true. Do you want me to announce? You ready oh, yeah. for it? Well, we have uh, Bibiani coming, oh, Bibiani. On tomorrow. Oh, coming really? in tomorrow. Oh, really? coming. But uh, a big one That's awesome. that we're confirmed with is uh, Todd McFarlane on oh, yeah. Wednesday. That's really wow. cool. Todd McFarlane coming in on a Wednesday is exciting. That is awesome. I've never had a chance to interview him yet because we, Fandango, oh no, it was Spike. When I had done three years with Spike and they like divvied up interviews. And my buddy Jeff Dye, who I'm actually going to have on the show as well. Wow, too. Jeff had a big issue with me. We Jeff Dye? Yeah, we can go over that after, though. What? When? Uh, a couple, a few years hold, ago. Hold it, hold yeah, it. Hold we'll it. talk about that because <laughs> he's coming on the show. <laughs> so right. light in um, his eyes. Jeff, well, Jeff's a buddy of mine. Yeah. Um, I like yeah, him a lot. I want to find that out. All right, but they divvied up a lot of the interviews, and I remember at one point Todd McFarlane. I was almost almost going to get him. And instead, I got I got Filoni and uh, Simon Kinberg. So I was like, all right. I mean, that's I know, July. I know, I know. That's and I, your I, thing. I, I miss, so I just missed out on McFarland. Wow. Um, so to have him on Wednesday would be great. But let's go back. What's 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 the beef with Jeff Dye? So at After Buzz TV, yeah. I used to host the after show for I Could Do That, I Could yeah. Do That, whatever that NBC yeah, summer was with, show was, was that Jeff Dye was on. Yeah, and Shatner and all that. Yeah. And Jeff Dye was my favorite on the show. Um, and I. But he was the worst at a lot of things because, like, some of the other ones, it's easier to translate um, when you're dancing to ice skating or whatever it was. And he's a comedian, so a lot of the things that they were asking him to do. He's also, like, 6'5". He just, like, couldn't do them. Right. And so on the after show, I was like, I love this guy, but he's got to pick some of the easier stuff. Like, he can't just keep trying to be a part of the Blue Man group or whatever uh, he was doing. And he just went after me. Really? It was like, you piece of... No, he called you a piece of... Yeah, he was like, are you kidding? You have no idea how hard this is. And just like ripped me to shreds. He's actually really good friends uh, or friendly with another one of my friends, uh, Sean Waltman, X-Pac. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it it came up. Sean was telling me I'm going to bring Jeff somewhere. And I was like, oh, that guy really doesn't like me. Like it went, it lasted for like a week and a half. where He just was going, 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 going. Oh, wow. It's on Twitter. Yeah, on Twitter. Uh, of course it was. No, I now I want to get him on. Let's on, send an email immediately. Yes. On Twitter. And I wrote back and I was like, you're my favorite on the show. I don't know what part of my after show yeah. you listen to, but like, I love you, man. And he was like, that's not what, lo-, like, he was just really pissed. Wow. 
Uh, I just want to smack down with so Joe. And so I was like, he, you know what? I, there's no way he remembers. So I said to Sean, like, oh, we had Twitter beef for a week once, but uh, there's no way he remembers. And Sean brought up to him, and he knew exactly what it was. <laughs> remembered, remembered He's every bit yes, of it. I'm, I'm yeah. contemplating not even telling him that you're on the show and just have. He won't know who I am anymore by that. But if I tell the story, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying like, don't. I, I don't think I'm going to tell him. I think I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have him just on the show. Well, we'll never see if he brings it up at all, and then. At the end of the interview, then bring it up. And honestly, I got where he was coming from as somebody who gets a lot of people telling me what I can or cannot do or yeah. tweets at me. I, I, it could have been annoying. I could have been one of 50,000 people who was saying something about him. He and might, he just and snapped, it just, he had enough. But yeah, he was, yeah. and like leaned into me and was like, nobody watch this show. This girl doesn't. <laughs> it's like, wow, wow I really am a fan of yours. Why are you attacking me? He went nuts. Me? Wow, we'll have to talk about it with him. Yeah, um, yeah we went to, I went to SmackDown with him two weeks ago and he, it was a lot of fun. He had really, I mean, the seats were incredible. Do you so. know him from your stand-up days? I know him from uh, the Spike TV thing. Oh. So I mean, Ellis, Ellis knew him from, the, from stand-up. He was he was after my time he was with last comic standing and everything too I had already kind of bowed out at that point but he uh, we started hosting stuff together uh, three years in a row and we just hit it off all three years and then there was I was asking about to come on this show and he's like hey I just I don't know I had asked him if he was going to raw because I was going to raw and he said, oh, I'm going to SmackDown tomorrow night. Do you want to go? I was like, yeah. So we went and we had a good time. So um, I told him I'd bring him on the show. I will not tell him that story until we bring it up on the air. So, um, <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's continue on the Avengers, too, because we haven't covered everything, too. Right. Because we found out Cody didn't see the trailer yet because he's yeah. not there. Mm. Um, maybe he did. I don't know. There was a lot of people who weren't into that, what I'm calling the poppy scene, the field Feel the dreams. Oh, was that the whatever. with with the Why? Black like the Panther? gladiator reference? It was there? the Black Panther scarecrow thing, right? No, no. As he's walking, no, it's his armor the, scarecrow. Yeah, yeah. 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 Black, but that's Black Panther. Well, I, I got the the gladiator vibes where he's walking through fields, oh. you know, and the oh, hand is Thanos? down, and it's Thanos and his gauntlet. Yeah, and why are people like that? I, I have I, no I, idea. I was seeing on my timeline at yeah. least. It's so funny how we all are in different worlds because yeah. you guys. I thought everybody was not liking it, but you guys didn't even know people weren't liking it. I, yeah. I, people were just being like, "This is out of." Place, what's happening here? How can somebody just be chilling? What I thought mean? that scene was really. Pretty. That's the whole point. Yeah. Of it. His, his exact angle was that he was supposed to be I chilling. I completely agree with you. Well, so just on my timeline, on people were livid about it, and I was yeah. like, "Wow." Yeah, he's he's he's, he's pieced. He's, he was. That's how he job was. well done. Throwing yeah, rocks. A, yeah. yeah. Tell you was at the end. I mean, um, you know. But do we have any other thoughts and about about the actual? I I mean the thought trailer. I really love. Well, I know it's not going to happen. Yeah. End game. What do you mean end game? Sorry. You know, I was a little underwhelmed by the tr by the title, and I think it's only because I have been hearing that for months. Right. You know what I mean? You, then I, I did a rewatch for on my own Patreon where I broke down the script, and I'm like, this he says Endgame. Yeah. Uh, in Age of Ultron, Tony says Endgame I at one Doctor point. I thought Doctor Strange says it. Doctor Strange says it in Infinity War. He my says we're character. at the Endgame right now. Yeah. Your favorite, yeah. Which makes um, I think it makes sense. I think it works well. I, I think it's like a it. great title. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it just was built up to be this like monumental thing, yeah. and then when you get something that you've kind of heard a number of times, yeah, you're like, yeah. You, but you, it didn't. I, yeah. I've been trying to convince myself for the past week or four days, whenever this dropped, I was like, it's okay, it's okay, and it is. It's fine. Endgame is a fine thing, but in the circles that I run in, which is a very CW circle. Yeah, right, right. Endgame, OTP, you know, one's repairing or oh, like okay. shipping something. Endgame is tossed around so much. Like, we're Endgame, we're Endgame. Uh, it's a so relationship you're, you're thing. So you're, so you're tired of it. it. Literally, on every single okay. one of I, the CW shows, like from Vampire Diaries to The Flash or whatever, they're Endgame. They're yeah, Endgame. Yeah, yeah. It See, means something. I'm different. too old and that mean anything to me. So, <laughs> yeah. um, or so, my sister will call me. My little sister should be like, oh my God, Corey and Topanga, so Endgame. Oh, great. It's okay. so, <laughs> so then I completely it, understand. It's for just me, like for me. me, what Endgame also signifies is that we have started from Iron Man 1 yeah. all the way here. This, yes. is, this is the end game for, for the, the phases of the, of the MCU. So Started from the bottom, now we... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Game. so <laughs> I, I dig it. I like it. I'm curious to what the uh, the audience is saying. So make sure you guys comment, hashtag, do all that stuff. Well, at the very end of the show, we'll, we'll try to get to some uh, tweets and, and things of that nature. So hashtag... Vagina! We'll, we'll see. Wow. We'll I, don't know oh, right. I, don't, I don't think we're going to do phone calls. Oh. We're just going to do hashtags. Uh, it says Twitter, on live calls. Twitter. Cody's that's not here. That's so always we can't do yeah, that's I, I don't want to. I don't want to overwhelm cops with phone calls right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, really goes, wow, this is aggressive. Gosh, you don't want my vagina you have something else to say? No, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I know. I, we're going to get another trailer, and it's going to show us yeah. a lot, I'm sure. Yeah, it's going to be more I, I, I would plead with Hollywood that this is a great way to do big blockbusters 
um, kind of movies where you're not showing a lot, that it really was anchored in emotion and character. And then I flip this over to Star Wars. I think they should do a similar thing and announce the title in the trailer. In the trailer, yeah. I think because so we've too. always gotten the trailer for Star Wars kind out of, of left field. Yeah. You know, like a it's tweet. It's been a tradition. Or, it's kind of a tradition. I'd yeah. like to break that tradition because yeah. it was so exciting. That moment when the when the trailer was forming the title, I haven't been that excited in a long time in geek culture. Well, how for did myself. they do it? I was like, yes. Well, didn't but it say when when you first saw it in the trailer? Did it? Uh, it didn't say the name of the tra- the name of the movie. No, it did. I, I think it did no, at the very end he, he, on the Marvel Studios uh, or Marvel Entertainment YouTube channel. The title for the video it just says Avengers trailer. Oh, oh I, I saw it on Twitter title. hashtag. It was yeah. in it. Yeah. So yeah, I knew yeah it once it I came it. out. People okay. start hashtagging. I'm sure right you guys have talked about this, but just because you're the two biggest Star Wars nerds that I know, thank w- you. What are you guys hoping that the title is? I can't even call it. I don't know. Endgame. Yeah. Mm. Endgame. Yeah. Uh, that wouldn't that be such? It would be so funny if that Star was the Wars actual Endgame. thing. Uh, it's, I, it's, I I don't know because I don't know yet what the it, it has to just rely on what the story is going to be. You know, because the difference is the reason why you could predict or start to guess the second Avengers title is because it's essentially just a part two of this movie that we just saw. Mm-hmm. There's going to be so many switch ups and turns and changes to, we have a different director, we have a different writer at episode nine. So there's going to be a lot of different things that of story points that we don't even know. What kind of thing would get you excited though? If it was focused on a character, if it was focused on a place, if it was focused on a situation, like, yeah. I mean, farts, legacy, probably like maybe, maybe mm. episode nine, Fall of the New Order, our first order. I don't know. I, yeah, you know, no, that's it's probably like, that, that's pretty, yeah, it's yeah. kind of a prediction. Um, it is. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it just depends. I stumped the star. It's not, it's not a stump. It's what would you be I angry? It's a different opinion, Roxy. What would you be <laughs> angry about if it went that direction? Um, There's something that would really make you. The return of Jar Jar. Yeah. Return, that like a Jar Jar. Jar Jar prequel. Jar 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 prequel. Yeah, it's just a Jar Jar him. The the redemption of Kylo Ren. It's gonna happen. It's a being, being Jar Jar yeah. Binks. It, 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 it will. Happen. They're gonna do it. Yeah. It's, it's do a, do yeah. they put character names in that? I'm trying to think of if there no, was. A... Uh, they ha- no, they no. haven't. No, no. Well, I mean, unless you count the like Sith or Jedi, but actual yeah, character names. Actual... No. Um, wow, Jar Jar. Would or be a if good when you were a kid, you thought do. it was yeah. the Emperor Strikes Back. Like I. Did you? you <laughs> yeah, that? yeah. I was the Emperor. Until when? <laughs> I, just when I, was, I was so young. It yeah. was, you know, I, yeah. I didn't know how to read. Yeah, that's fair. When did you learn to read? Uh, just recently. Yeah, that's I have a question. I thought of this when you talked about the trailers. How would you feel at, if people started making trailers that had nothing that was in the film that gave you a little bit, like it was its own thing? Like the trailer was its own little story that had to do with it, but right. what, you didn't, didn't spoil anything that was I in the f- film, that you got a fresh thing yeah. when you saw the film. I feel like they did that recently with something. I can't remember which movie it was, but... um. The problem with that, because I think that what you were saying before, you know, just or you saying this as far as the teaser goes, and Copster said it, and the boy said it before here too. Avengers is a very rare thing. Like you don't have to put any trailers out. You should because you want to market it a little bit to let people know it's coming out. But it's a rare thing where you don't have you don't have to give so much because people are going to go see it. Right. And you keep giving little teasers like this with not no one's going to go. Well, I don't know what's about, so I'm not going to see it. Everybody right. knows that it's going to be what happens after the snap. That's the movie. That's what everyone knows. So that's rare. You've got to try to sell movies in trailers. Like, and there's certain movies and stories you don't want to give away the whole entire plot. But I think trailers are very important to tell people because we're not not everybody's like us to where we're talking about movies yeah. all the time and into it. If some, there are a lot of people who have no idea what certain films are coming out in, in the summertime, and they're sitting in the theater, and here comes pops up this trailer. Oh, that story looks interesting. I'm going to go see that now, and it's in there. It's in there. But that, I don't think that would do. I don't think this would have done that to somebody that doesn't know anything. I don't think this would have hooked anyone. I kind of think for an indie, it could be a really beautiful thing to have, almost like a short move, a short story, uh, and and have it be in the same tone. But for something this big, I just think it would piss too many people yeah. off. I would have yeah. liked to have seen just Thanos eating some Cheerios, and then yeah. it said, come on, you know you're going to see it. And right. then it's you know. just right. called Avengers Oh Snap. Oh Snap. <laughs> yes. Cheerio. Cheerio. Well, All right, let's the, move on. There's other things, though, too. Yeah. Oh, there are? Tons of trailers dropped over the weekend. Just, tons. Yeah. We were supposed to have, Spider-Man was supposed to drop on Friday. It never did. It, it didn't. They showed it. 
at uh, Brazilian Comic Con, right. and we got the rundown of it. Um, but why does Brazilian Comic Con get all the flip? The, they, the amount of great stuff that they got, yeah. and New York Comic Con still gets shit. What are they called that was so confusing to me? Their hashtag? It was like S. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of great stuff. C C X D or C C something. Yeah. And Jake Gyllenhaal and Tom about? Holland come out and they did a whole presentation. Yeah, they got right. some cool stuff. That's what I mean. So yeah. that's I mean, so you should have gone. Yeah, we should have well, gone. Frosty doesn't Frosty's share the there. love. Yeah. Did he go? Frosty always goes. Yeah, I always wow. give him. Uh, it's, Can I come? You gotta ask. Oh him. wait, what am I supposed to ask now? You supposed to, why didn't why wasn't I invited? Why wasn't I? Why was I invited? You okay, ask him. You guys are buddies now. Yeah. Give him a fist pump and let's figure it out. He he invited me to something, but then he uninvited me. Oh. No. <laughs> when we were at uh, when we were at Aquaman together, he was like, "Oh, you definitely should come to the Spider Verse screening." Then he said no, and, laughed, and yeah. Moved on. And then I was like, "Oh, I saw it." He was like, "Oh, then you can't come again." <laughs> oh. And I said, "Oh, mm, okay. that's fair." Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, lots of, lots of trailers dropped. What's this dark Superman thing? What is this? Oh, thing? it's called Brightburn. What is this? Okay, so it's James Gunn produced it. Uh, Elizabeth Banks is is starring in it, right. and it's uh, it 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 literally is Man of Steel. Yes. There's some fonts. There's some music. There's some shots. There's a swing. It's like very Man, reminiscent. It's Man of Steel, or you're saying of Man or, of Steel? Okay, not of the not, actual not movie. Donner. I'm okay. looking up more stuff on it. That's yeah. What okay. I'm doing. And uh, yeah, but it supposes too. what if. You know, Cal El crashes in the back of the Kent farm, but this farm is somebody. It, right. to, this is totally a different. Right. It's, not, it's not, it's not actually Man of Steel. Right. Uh, but they are conjuring that to mind to to really go into a killer Superman. So this kid, it's like there's something wrong with. We got to talk about Kevin. Right. It's like we got to talk about this kid. He's something wrong with him, and then he starts to develop powers very similar to Superman, and then he puts on this weird mask and this cape, and he kills somebody at the end of this trailer. Oh really? That is so shocking to me. Like I, Zod? It's and like it's, you know what it neck? reminds me of in Batman v Superman. Yeah. Remember when the, the Gorilla Warrior is like kind of holding uh the the Amy Adams yeah. Lois Lane with the gun and Superman just goes and just takes him out. Right. That's what happens. He's like at the very end of this like corridor in this like she's like hiding in like the meat locker at a right. restaurant because she's scared of this guy. He's, like he's been terrorizing her for whatever reason. Then the heat vision cracks the door apart, and she's staring at him all the way at the end of the restaurant, and he's just looking at her. And then all of a sudden he just goes, bam, and just right. takes her out, and the trailer wow. ends. I cannot believe that this is not on my radar. It I'm is, so it came until out until you told nowhere. me this morning. It so came out of nowhere for me, and you know me as a Superman guy. I went, give me this. Now yeah, that's I great. Believe, yeah, I, drop, I believe it was supposed to drop during Comic Con in San Diego. Yes, but, and the James Gunn stuff came out, James and they Gunn completely stuff. canceled it. Yes, oh, so, and it's written by logo. it's written by two people named Brian Gunn and Mark Gunn, which you have to assume yeah. are are those yeah brothers, Gun cousins, brothers? Gun Brothers. I assume uh, I don't know. Gun Brothers feels like a bad name. I yeah. thought I, the guns. I thought the guns. there was only <laughs> the one guns. smoking gun. Uh, James Gunn, right? And His interesting, brother. Interestingly yeah. enough. They don't have any character I mean, names on I the remember. IMDb, which is kind of, you know. Interesting. Like, yeah, because you don't know what His exactly is going L. on. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. May 24th, 2019 is the expected release date okay. for this, mm -hmm. which is quite, that's it's summer. Memorial day. Elizabeth Banks, what you said? Yeah, it's Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks. Banks. Um, Meredith Hagner, Matt Jones. Okay. And it says, what if a child from another world crash landed on Earth, but instead of becoming a hero to mankind, he provi uh, proved to be something far more sinister? And mm -hmm. that's all we've got on the movie on the IMDb. Yeah, the, very the trailer tells you every. I mean, this be is so a heavy-handed nod to wow. the Superman no mythos. crap, because they even say it in the synopsis, yep. like, instead of being a hero. But the, the question is, you've got to be so... I'll tell you what, the lawyers on that movie... Like, you've got to be so careful. Here's the other thing it yeah. says on the IMDb in the trivia. There's one piece of trivia on it, and this is what it says. A horror take on the Superman origins slash mythos. This film is in no way associated with DC Comics and its extended universe. Right. And you got to let them That's know that. That's all it says. There can be no references. There can be none of that. And you've got to be so careful to where you're cross-checking, referencing everything. There should be no Smallville. There can be nothing. No, no. but I'm confused, too, because... James Gunn coming over to Camp DC. Right. So, yeah. so maybe they give him a pass. Or not. Oh. Or, may, or maybe they give him no pass. I mean, I, w 
I would not bite the hand that fed me. I would be really nervous about this. I'm sure they knew about the project already when he yes. went in for the meetings. There, I mean, there's, I don't okay, so believe, maybe maybe yeah. it's part of his... There is not yeah. going to be any lawsuit. I don't believe no, I don't there's going to be anything going on unless, of course, it's like, yeah, so what did you name him? Clark Kent? No, it's right. not yeah. going to happen. You can, Mark you, Bent. You his can, name was very large in the trailer. Yeah. And so he must be. Oh, they're, well, they're go, yes, they're going off of the James name, Gunn. and a lot of people, rightly so, Drew McQueeny pointed it out. It's like, could you please credit the actual directors and writers of this because they're using the James Gunn name? Right. I don't to go. know this director. Do you guys right. know him? Right. David David Yurovsky. Oh yeah, I do know David Yurovsky. That's that's so cops. That's what you're talking about here, right? Directed the Hive. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, David. I his IMDb. Yeah, he was. Uh, they're buddies. Him and, and Gunn. He was on an episode of Movie Threesome. With myself and um, and Tiffany Smith, mm. he was a he directed yeah he directed the Hive that's what he was promoting which I believe was a Nerdist movie, and he he was a really nice guy I liked him a lot so Brightburn is the one he's directing now too this could be a big this could be a big move for him because like mm -hmm. I said he's been he's been working with Gunn for a long time I think he was, he was even in Guardians of the Galaxy for a second too they're buddies it's, and it's marked as a horror movie which is an interesting thing for Gunn to be producing well, this is right up I mean this is right so, this is major I, apparently up. yes yeah. James Gunn has many brothers Sean Gunn Matt Gunn Brian okay. Gunn Patrick Gunn well there you go Patrick okay. Gunn is the one from, from Guardians I think right no, uh, no, Sean Gunn. It's one of them. Yeah, it's Sean Gunn. Sean Gunn. Oh my God. Yeah. What? He's, Sean Gunn that's does the, all the Gilmore the, Girls guy. I guess, yeah. but I mean, he's oh, also yeah. in, he's he does all... the motion capture for Rocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, this is this is interesting. You've got people talking. Yeah. The way that you drive it. I mean, it's a, it's an interesting premise. I mean, so. Schmooper Man is a little silly for the name, but yeah, sure. Right. So is that, is that that's the kid? I guess when he's kind of growing up. Uh, yeah, he's like an awkward kid. And, okay. But know, we even he's... have like a red blank. I mean, yeah. it's it's still. Yeah. Riley, Riley, I'm a pretty big Superman fan as well. Yeah. Brightburn. What do What are you getting with that? I, I, I I'm not. I, I yeah, don't know. Not. I can't really follow it. I don't know what the the reference is. I don't know if it is a reference to yeah. the right. Superman Superman mythos. Right. I, it's, well, the question, it escapes who, who's me. Who's going to take this kid out? That's the question. That's that's a good. Yeah, that's a good question. Like, what's going to happen? Henry Cavill. That would I, be well, amazing. I think there there there's what? something going it on that amazing, yeah. he the kid is drawn to the ship that he came into, much yeah. like Kal El yeah. was. Um, and he's like doing this. I think there's probably a secret within there that could. Think he if turns I was, good at the end. I, no, no. Ugh. I actually don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be. You know, if we're going to play the tropes of horror, which is what this is doing, um, you're going to have to kill this thing to yeah. to survive yourself. But trick. then, how are we going to have a, a so part a sequel? two? Yeah, that's. It depends. Oh, does, uh, he again, stay, does it trope, stay at this you know? age? That's a question. I mean, does right. it become? Uh, does it become Superman? Or does, does somebody have to kill a kid? Right. You know? Well, the other other thing that is related to Superman, and you might know this, Roxy. I don't know because I did not even know a thing about this until this morning. I checked the tweet by accident. Um, the Flash, which I watched season one. Of, mm -hmm. What's this thing that crossing over with Smallville? So, uh, no. So there is an Elseworlds crossover. It's What's a that three mean? Okay, so it's a three-part event. It's called Elseworlds because it, essentially it's uh, like an alternate. It's not even parallel an alternate universes? time. It's kind of like parallel, but it's actually on the same universe that they're on. Okay. Uh, but it's Elseworlds, meaning that Oliver Queen and Barry Allen have body swapped. And so everybody thinks that Stephen Amell is... The Flash. the Flash. And everybody thinks that like Grant Quantum Gustin, Leap style? Like Quantum oh, Leap. Okay. They literally use that in the episode. Oh, they they do. say out loud, they said, this is like Freaky Friday. And then he was like, actually, no, because people think we're different. Quantum Leap. So you see, totally yeah. get it. Okay. Uh, and it's three-part crossover. So it was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday across Flash, Supergirl, and Arrow. And it's supposed to be, for fans that don't even watch the show, it's a... You, it's a standalone, right. so it doesn't really have to doesn't do. Doesn't tie it. into the canon of it, right? right. Well, what, and, what's and the it has so thing? far. So the small, so the Smallville thing is that we actually have Lois Lane and Clark. Uh, They're in it. Yep. And Tom so, Welling and uh, no, oh, okay. No, it's they had already um, cast Superman, but there had been talks about Tom Welling, but that that's oh, not who okay. it is. It's Tyler uh, Hecklin, who is in Supergirl. Yes. Okay. And so okay. it's him and I forget the female's act, the the woman's name, but she's really good. For Lois Lane. Yeah, yeah. And there's a couple Smallville references. Uh, they heard, yeah, hit it pretty hard. Last so night. they. So it, it. He's Clark Kent from Smallville, and he, this is who he is. T T Taylor. I heard Tyler. they played the song. Did somebody save me. I heard they played that. They did. Yeah, they did. They did play it as their introduction when we went to their Earth because they're actually on a different Earth and they're on Supergirl's Earth. Yes. We had this to go there. Sounds very confusing to me, but I still think that I, if I knew what was going on, I would like it. I actually yeah. thought that it, 
what was the thing that we oh spider verse it does sound very confusing yeah. it really wasn't okay it we got we got there and i was like oh yeah yeah i, I think i could pick this up if i didn't okay. watch the the shows it I, was I, done well, it, re- part one was awesome look, i'll the, see how the two hook, and three are the hook alone had me asking questions yeah so, yeah um, i know i and saw he the comes same back to our earth so we've got him for a little bit superman All and right. same with lois i'll check out I'll, I'll check it out I'll, I'll, i'm curious to see if it's if it's any good um, yeah i think i'm gonna watch that tonight. yeah it's yeah. cool uh, the cool. other thing I sent you over the weekend was Afterthoughts. Yeah. They got better from Thank last week. Thank you for week. sending that. I thought this episode was bomb. Yeah, it was really good. I thought it was really good. I, so I think they maybe took what we said to heart. Yeah. Uh, or not. Or it could have had nothing to do with us. Yeah. But well, Snelling, Snelling got a little upset with me because this is the, the thing that um, he was – I think Snelling is such a good uh, – he maneuvers so well in the conversations. I just don't find him funny. And I, I it just, he's, he's just – he's not funny to me. It's not his role. It's, it's not. But, Jay is funny. And, but to his credit – he believes that he's got a lot of comic sensibilities and that he wants to be one of the funny guys. And he, so when he was saying out loud, he was saying on the show, he's like, he's like, they don't get that. It's just jokes. We're just kidding. I was like, if the audience is doesn't get, okay, I, was, yeah, was, yes. I said, if the audience still doesn't understand, then, then you might have a problem. I was like, let Jay be the funny guy. Like, I think Snelling is so good at maneuvering he's great at what he does. And, he's, and, he, and he really picks apart certain conversations. And even though he's got s- crazy takes sometimes, he catches everything. But he makes a move and he's a great producer and he's a great editor mm-hmm. I, jay's the one i'm looking to for like the quips and the jokes like and i think that if they hit that but anyway i agree with you this episode was really i good. literally <laughs> couldn't agree more my biggest problem uh my biggest twat take of theirs is the fact that they're like they're they keep misinterpreting and i'm like hmm let's look at this right do christian and i keep misinterpreting or are you guys putting out something that we're interpreting correctly and right. you're not accurately representing yourselves. Such as, Such as uh, anything from like the Makuga situations where, you know, they'll say something or the office being a morgue or. Yeah, or that, that was a trickier one because the thing is with the office being a morgue. Jay I got the was jokes. there. See, that's the thing. I got the jokes from, from Jay, Jay. When J- Jay would say, you know, like to me, when, that, when everybody was here, it was like a morgue. Nobody was talking. I was like, I get it. That's funny. That's what he's. It was then when when Snelling was trying to talk for him because he wasn't there. That's harder to translate. Like, I was just kidding, but he was yeah. like, "I've been doing it for years, and I I get it when you have right. inside jokes." But I'm a new fan, and I want to be welcomed. Right. And I I don't think it's funny because I get when Jay says it. I, and you've only been listening me. for like four weeks. Yeah. Right. And so I'm like, "What?" And right. And so they keep saying they just don't understand. We're never being serious. We're always kidding. Is it really us that don't understand, right. or are you guys not doing it? But they're well? not always kidding. No, the, the thing too is, and they're not. That's, no, we talk that's about what, but you're right. Things. That's what they said. They 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 break down a lot, and they, that's I don't want them always kidding because they're not. They're they're break, and that's what they did very well at this week. Mm-hmm. Was everything that happened on these particular episodes, the conversations that they have. That's why if you're not listening. Um, to their show, which I did like, was that they agreed with me in this, that they think podcasts are pretty easy to find on the Collider Network. But they understood oh, where I was coming from. They did. Uh, they did. Uh, they understood uh, where I was coming from. But they from. said they knew how to find it. Difference um, of opinion. That's right. It is. Um, they, so, but True. Collider Live is, you're able, excuse me, the Collider Afterthoughts you can find on the Collider Live podcast, and it's on every Friday. And you really should listen to these guys and because they, they do really great work. They have, I mean, the thing that, the thing that I, once again gave Snelling some some shit about was the fact that you know when he talked about the when Jay does the stream of consciousness and he does the notes I had suggested music I have right? a note on this Christian that I have to bring up but too. what I will tell you though I Snelling as a producer has every right to say I just don't want to do it don't want to try it okay that's fine my my I told him what my issue was was, was the whole not just it seemed like he was puffing his chest out I still think he was I even in this episode yeah. do I I want to start doing an after show for their after show for us. <laughs> I think we are like right that, now. That's legitimately. I think we're doing that right now. I, they, uh, some of the things infuriate me and confuse me so much. I am frantically. I I'm writing them down. But that's why it's a must listen. It's so good. But that's why it's a must listen. Yeah, because, this week was so yeah, because, good. And I think that that's what I try to tell Snelling because he's because you sometimes you want to go you son of a bitch. That's why it's so. You want to listen to him. Can I address a few things, or should I well, should I hold off? Well, on that? Dep- let, let's see. Just because. I, well, I do want to spin <laughs> Can the we positive. Screen this? I want to spin the positive to them because they were really great this this week. Yeah, I they were. Yeah. And now I have some some. <laughs> but she what, has notes. What do you got? What All right, got? going with what you were talking about, the leaving the music out. As a good producer, I'm willing to try anything. Right. Why won't you try it? That's my problem with what why he's putting his foot down. He Christian suggests music. If he tried it and then said, you know what, as a producer, I didn't prefer it. 
fine. Right. But or to listen be like, to what the audience it, it's literally you're not asking him to try a different format. It will take him 15 seconds to try that. Because as he a does, strong he, producer, yeah. you you weigh your options. Right. Try it. Right. Try it. That I I couldn't believe. His thoughts is he doesn't need it. And That's what he keeps saying. But right. But why like, don't you try? But if you, I can can if you had a Ken Napsox, uh news without the music, it doesn't hit the same way. No. Right. It's yeah. that. Mm. And it becomes a yeah. thing, and it becomes, it becomes something that you and they said they've never done bits on the show. That's why they. Yes. Well, that's why you want to do it because they don't normally do bits Which is on fine. the show. And maybe it doesn't work. Maybe right. you try it and it's no good. But why can you say I know it doesn't work before you try something? Give it the old college try. One hundred percent. That that bothered me. Uh, I, I thought it was really funny how much they love that Riley vapes. They're in such support oh, yeah. of you. No, they love it. They Jay, Jay, well, Jay, Jay vapes. Yeah. Well, Jay was ready to oh. pounce. Oh my on God. Me. He goes, yeah. pounce on me. Because I, I don't know enough about it to, to talk ignorantly about it. About so, the cauliflower brain thing that they were talking about? I don't I, even know what that I don't was. Know, I don't know huh? enough about vaping. What I, so that's, he's, and he is a, I mean, that's what he, that he's very passionate about it. Right. Very passionate about it. So he was, when he was all support making sure, he was very protective of you. Making okay. sure that no one, yep. no one well, you still it, shouldn't be smoking it, tobacco though. It, it's uh, it, it's going to end because I have a fiance that is not happy about it. Although when we are out and about and I vape sometimes and yeah. she has a, a few, she grabs it. That's right. Does You're it, so. a buffoon. Yeah. yeah, that's true. He is a buffoon. You're right. Uh, yeah. Here is my other thing that when they are talking of yeah. still going back to the music thing, Ryan's like, listen, we got a really good checks and balances system here. Jay and I, checks and balances. That is not checks and balances. The two of you guys do the show. Where are the checks and balances? Like The checks and balances are there. That's <laughs> Christian. He is the check and balance, and he's telling you what you guys are doing could be stronger. That's the check and balance. Like I just think that that's so funny. If yeah. you do a podcast with your friend and you're like, we got the checks and balances. It is, it that's is not in, what checks and is, balances It is means. in the right, and it should be in the right. And I, I applaud him as a producer to say, I don't think it'll work. That's not kind of what we've done. Hmm. But I never got that conversation off air or everything, too. It was just like, just refuse to do it and then say, just let you know with that laugh. He's like, we're not doing it. And I'm like, I'm like all right. <laughs> I, I, I guess you're not going to yeah. do it. Which also, like, in a different note, is a pretty aggressive way to speak to your boss. Like, well, that's, yeah. for Which, all intents and purposes. Well, to be also to fair, to fair to the guys, and the, too. Like, they, are, they do this show because for the publicity. They do this show. Yeah. To, right. Like, so it's like one of those things, too. If we were paying them, yeah, then you get to right. tell them yeah. what to do. It's a different of story. It's a different uh, story. So, so they, they, have the a, they have, a lot, they have a lot of freedom. You they essentially freedom. are paying them though, because it's a huge opportunity that a lot of fans would want to have, yeah. and and they're reaping the benefits. And they work hard. Equally, they really do you, work hard. And they work really hard. They but do. I I just love that checks and balances. <laughs> right. Well, that's and that's the fun. <laughs> look, and it's the same thing. And they give it and they I give it to us, face. and they'll give it to us the same yeah. way throughout the week. And that's why I love that's this why. Episode, though. And I that's did. why I I really encourage you guys to, on the podcast feed yeah. to go check out their show. It's on Fridays. It's uh, Collider Afterthoughts, and you guys. And this is the other thing too, because and tweet at them. Tweet at What Up Snell, and then Jay Williams, J to the A to the Y to the E, as he says. Um, tweet at them because when you listen to that bit, and this is let's be fair. Listen to it. If you think it needs music, tell them. If you think it doesn't, <laughs> tell, tell them. them. Yeah. Um, or if you think, I don't know, I'd like to hear the option, tell them. Tell them that. Yeah, so I, the, the, and, and I have so many more thoughts, but you guys just listen to it. You'll come with your own. Yes. It, it was a really good yeah. week. I do. I want more. I want more of the fans to really start tuning into them because we can. then they can be on the same page when we have our little conversations. Yeah. Was your issue finding the podcast that it doesn't have a different thumbnail? Like that it's it's just the, you know, that was for me when I, I don't know if that's changed. But she's, talking about, she's, she's talking about in general. She's not now talking about I know where Afterthoughts lives. I have it. no problem right. finding Afterthoughts. Okay. The other shows are still a problem for you. If I don't know where they live, right. yeah. Like I went to go find uh, Ben and Andrew's show the other day. Yeah. I didn't know where it lived. Right. So I couldn't find it. Right. Uh, and that's so, on the movie. That, that one, that's a little tougher because it's movie talk. And feed, I didn't yeah. know that that's where it would be, so right. I went over. It's things like that until you know. But then, like they said on the show, if Christian announces where it and is. And that's what I want to do because they, they actually inspired me to do something this week to let everybody know. So everybody looking out there, if you're looking for podcast feeds. And because I, can't, I don't know if we talked about this on the air or someone, someone had brought this up. Someone asked um, if, if the Clatter Heroes was on the factory feed. What? Mm. So, that was on Afterthoughts. 
Is that what it was? They were talking about somebody talking about that. That's what they said. Yeah, I mean, yeah and they were like, what the hell are you talking, talking about? It was never uh, there, yeah. Yeah, so the Collider Factory. So what Collider Factory is, once again, it's the old feed of what we used to have everything on. We use that now for other shows that maybe uh, are try trying to build their audiences up. You can find Witching Hour there. You can find Collider.com's podcast there. The Schmodown Rundown is, is over there. And, and a couple other things that we pepper out there. That's, that's just kind of random shows that we have that you can find. Clatter Movie Talk has its own feed, and you can find that. You just type in Clatter Movie Talk. Mailbag is Mailbag also on, on there, there, and the action guys are also on that feed. Then you move over to the one-on-one -on -one with Christian Harloff P. You have my show. Any long-form interviews will pop up there. If Ryan Satin does one with the wrestler, Riley Roundtable, is, you can also find that there. You have the TV Talk feed, which has its own feed. With um, hypothetical questions with Josh and Roxy. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Collider Heroes has its own feed. Jedi Council has its own feed with Rule of Two also on that feed. So uh, Collider Games has its own. Sports has its own. So That's actually helpful. Yeah, so there you go. Those are those those are ways if you want to really dive into our podcast network in general, go over there, subscribe to those links, and, uh, and check it out. Um, let's go. Let's see. We have about 15 minutes or so. Vagina. Mm. What's that? Vagina? No. I don't know if they're going to. Well, you know, maybe, maybe through the <laughs> tweets. Um, but I forgot. Someone just tweet, uh, texted me. And it reminds no. me. It reminds me of this. So what I will <laughs> say is last night, as I was coming up with certain things I wanted to talk about on the show, and we talked about a lot. We talked about the one-on-one. -on -one, we talked about Avengers. Um, some movies I watched. We can talk about that tomorrow. I was going through, you know, I go to the, the Facebook group for the Schmodown, mm -hmm. which if you guys are fans of the Schmodown or want to get into the Schmodown, go to the, the Facebook group, uh, the Schmodown, as, as well as the TriviaSD.com. But the Facebook group last night, there was a poll on who the greatest heel slash bad guy is right now. and Currently or currently of right, all time? Currently right now this season. Who do you think would – remember, you've got – so the people that are out there, you've got your um, – you got UJ Washington's, you got, uh, you got Stacey Howard, Janine, you got uh, Chance Ellison, uh, Kalinowski, Andrew Guy, Ben Bateman, Finstock. There's tons of tons of heels out there. Who do you think ranked number one in the fan poll? Who do you think, Riley? Uh, Andrew Guy. What do you think? You don't follow the show, but guess. Uh, Finstock. Fine. If it's not Drew Guy, then people aren't watching. Drew Guy was mon monumentally, uh, I think it was about 250, Was he was number one, and then Mike Kalinowski was number two at like 60 or something mm -hmm. like that. Which is interesting, too, because Kalinowski overall this year has had a really long run as, as a bad guy. But Guy, when he's shown up, has just been powerful, right? Ugh, yes. He's so great. So He's the best. So I think great. he's the best heel of all time over Rocco. Wow. Over, I think that Drew Guy is the best heel to ever be in the showdown. I don't think anybody will ever top him. The, the conversation is you wouldn't be laughed out of the room for bringing it up. Um, and so I'm reading the comments and seeing what the fans are thinking because the conversation's starting. And so Chance Ellison, who's Kalinowski's it's kind of second in command, if you will, says Andrew Guy is a hack. And puts it out there on, on the, Facebook, the group? Facebook group, and it just exploded. Oh, boy. guy comes into the chat room, and isn't he in uh, Tokyo or something? Right I don't know now? where he is, but Andrew <laughs> Guy starts going after Chance. Chance starts going after Guy. Then Janine jumps in and starts going after Chance. No oh, boy, Janine up goes against Chance. Chance, and they're teaming up. I'm telling you, join the Facebook group and go to the the poll about the heel thing and read this thing. They start. Really going at it. it's two on one. Then Kalinowski jumps in there. Oh, and what God. side is he on? Chances? Chances, yeah. So Kalinowski, they're going after each other. And then, uh, you know, Chances going after the guy saying that he got lucky beating two guys that hadn't played in over a year. And and then uh, it, it, Guy comes back and, and says, yeah, that's two more wins than you have. You're 0 and 1. And they, they just, they're just firing at Fast. each other. It was. So I was shoving popcorn in my mouth, just watching. It was so entertaining. Go there and read it. We gotta, it is great. Think we gotta settle this in the ring. Well, it's gonna get settled between Janine well, and at Chance, Chance at the New York event. I would guy, love to see guys out of Kalinowski and Guy. Yeah, the take problem is guy, yeah, I know. Guy's out of commission for like four months. Yeah, I know. So Why? Yeah. he's gonna be he's working. working. He's done. Uh, he's gone. So I don't have. I don't have guys. Yeah, to holy. Like, Th that kid March. is booking. I don't have until like March. Bo yeah. He is booking left yeah. and right. Oh my God, he's Get killing it. So, but, but he's the best yeah. heel that ever has been. He may be, and like, you he's know. definitely up there in my mind. Well, we're gonna I've have... been around for a long time in this league, <laughs> yeah. and he's a good. He's one. good. Look, last yeah. last thing about Schmodown here too is December twenty first. We have the Schmodown Spectacular. It is WrestleMania. It is going to be six matches. 
six matches throughout three videos. It's our big end of the season um, kind of finale. First match that we're going to have, it's going to be the Commissioner Bowl. It is myself versus Thad Williams versus Finstock versus Emma. That will all go down in the first match. Can I come? You can be there, yeah. The uh, the main event of the of the first video will. Oh, you know what? I can't do this yet. I told Bibiani that I that I we would wait and release this on the wow. website. Okay. Shoot. Okay. But December twenty first. Well, good plug for the website. Yeah, December twenty first, and make sure you ch check out the uh, check out the website triviasd.com. We'll have the whole lineup of the cards themselves. Um, but it's it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be on this channel here, Clatter Video, December twenty first. Make it a thing. I really liked getting those messages from people saying that it's starting to become like a tradition for them. They watch it with their families and they, they wait for so spectacular cool. like viewing parties and reaction video. The reaction videos this year. Reaction videos for next week's final is gonna be interesting. It's gonna mm -hmm. be really fun. Because we have our finals now between uh, Clark Wolf and, and Ethan Irwin. So <laughs> look at Clark Wolf. I know. Wow. She's making a run for player of the year. I she mean, really she's is. She's a beast. Yeah. She, she really is, is dangerous. But she's now. a lot she is a lot more human than he is. So it, it's going to depend on what yeah. the lights do yeah. and what kind of mood she's Ethan's in. Ethan's never been in a 5 round match. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it's going to be good. So that 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 goes I up. I hope she kicks his butt. We'll see. You got two matches this week. Uh, <laughs> dangerous Dan Merle. Me too. Yeah, Dangerous Dan Merle uh, goes against Mark Andreco on Tuesday. Winner of that gets into the number 1 contender match at the Spectacular and then on Friday, the finale of the tournament, Clark Wolf goes up against Ethan Irwin. The winner plays Roca for the title. Mm. Uh, let's get some tweets here. We got some hashtags. I got a hashtag here. I yeah. got a I got a speculation here. I got a supposedly the subtitle of episode nine here. What do you got? Son of Darkness. Son S U N S O N. S O N. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it just depends. I, I don't know. Uh, I, don't I don't know. know. Uh, this comes from Ken McDowell. Thank yeah. you. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I know. don't know if he doesn't really say uh, if he has Why? any sourcing on Source. this. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Fact. It, it sounds Son of Darkness. fine. Doesn't yeah, it, feel it, like a it, it, trilogy wrap up. No. Yeah. If it's Son of Darkness, then it is a hundred percent guarantee that they're going to turn him. Go, you mean re redeem, redeem him. Him. Yes. turn him back? Yeah, turn well, him back. Well, then why call it yeah. Son of Darkness? To, yeah, it to seems a little too. Oh, to trick to trick you. Son of Darkness is like, and then it's, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna redeem. I actually don't think I like Son of Darkness as the title. I don't, either. I, I don't like it at all. I yeah, like I'll it. tell you because I I feel like one mostly because I don't feel it has mostly that mostly dead, mostly dead, partially dead. The the trilogy capping, you know, we have Revenge of the Sith that made sense. It's kind of full circle. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. You know what was this? What is this? So Revenge of the Sith, Return of the Jedi. What could that be? Why not just episode nine, Star Wars Legacy? Do we have a legacy out there already? I don't know. I don't, I don't like that either. Well, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm what's sorry. next? Uh, uh, a lot of people are asking the Godzilla trailer. You haven't oh, seen yeah. it, huh? I have not seen it. The, uh, I Cops, saw did it. you watch this? Oh, no. I'm staying far away from this You would one. stay away from I, that also. I broke. I'll admit. I broke and I watched it at Comic-Con. I was in the spirit and I and I watched in that trailer, that first one. That's is, all you needed. It's delightful. I see. It's very delightful. Yeah. Right. Well, I, if you I, saw I, that, you don't need to see it anymore. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I trust Mike Doherty, too. I'm a big fan of him. I think this movie will be significantly better than the first one. Like, because Did I actually, you not like the first one? Godzilla's in the movie for 15 minutes. Um, I wanted to see. Did you not like the first one? I, I like the f last fifteen minutes. <laughs> I like the last Sproxy fifteen minutes. Basically, answer the yeah. question. Well, I like the last fifteen minutes. I wanted to see a Godzilla okay. movie. Okay. And I went and I, I still love it. I, I liked it. I just yeah. didn't like it. I, I just, I Aaron it. Taylor Johnson, who I love, was terrible in that movie. Yeah. He was terrible. You know, we did did that conversation. We were sitting around like characters taken out too soon in a movie. Yeah. Brian Cranston. Yeah. Well, they built. That's another thing. It was yeah. it was dishonest. That, that was wild. That, that, movie, that, that, that movie was dishonest. That was. I they was build it, They built it on Brian Cranston to kill him off in like the first. Well, the five movie minutes. wasn't dishonest. It was the. Preparation, the marketing, the, the marketing, the, yeah, marketing. the market, the preparation. Yeah, well, the, the marketing it's itself. I didn't like it, and and in the end, the end was great. The end when he was actually kicking ass, and I was like, oh, I could have just come to this. Oh, I didn't mind. You that. didn't get the the the. It's a Jaws kind of reference. Mm -hmm. They even name him Brody. It's, it's not Jaws, you know, it's, but it's yeah. shut, like again building up. The monsters only seen certain parts of it at one point, and then you get the full thing at but the this, end, and that yeah. is how it landed I, I on me. I hate it when people did that because here's yeah. the difference: Jaws, when it came out, no one knew who Jaws, what Jaws was. No one knew, uh, no one right. and the, the shark sh didn't work, right? And but and that, they got lucky with it, but yeah. it ultimately worked out to be perfect. But the thing was that movie, no one, there was no past Jaws movies. Sure, there was no like I didn't know what what to expect when I saw it. 
I know what Godzilla looks like. I know you that want Godzilla. Well, you I knew see there was a fight. shark in the movie. You knew that you know that Godzilla's in the movie. This, but but I've seen Godzilla as a character. I've seen him as a, per, like a I persona. I get what you're saying totally, and and yeah. that's why you don't like it. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. It and just I know works the story. That's fine. I'm yeah. not telling you, yeah. you shouldn't. I'm just saying the reason why you have it a different, different for me. opinion. You have different different opinion. opinion. But this movie, however, from what I saw the trailer, the first trailer, it looks like they took that note from a lot of people. Oh, I'm, not yeah. in the, I'm not in the no, minority. I think you're in the majority. I'll try to make this because I watched it, and I'll try to make this spoil. Friendly for a copster. Um, it it was great. It, it Good really on the was. Watch. Uh, the watch. first trailer for me though was a lot better. It had this tone to it and this okay. like kind of style that I really enjoyed more. This is your classic. Okay, we're showing you here's like the different monsters. And like the story, a little bit of the story in there, but I thought there was some pretty good mo- money shots. Big one at the end. The money shot at the end. Yeah, don't tell really me watch it. Well, good. Uh, let's do one more Twitter question, and then we will call it a day and okay. be back tomorrow. And it's uh, it's from a, a, a woman here oh, coming you at go. you, Roxy Samuel Give me the Killmonger, <laughs> Katie Van uh, DYK. Uh, opening weekend for Endgame versus Shazam in April, and could Endgame beat Infinity War in overall box office? I'm a girl. Take my question. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You Which got it, baby. Well, Endgame will versus it- Shazam. Well, it's going to kill Shazam. God, kill I think Shazam. it will legitimately stomp on Shazam and crush yeah, it. The, it's going to snap it out of existence. The one uh-huh. thing I will say is that I would have bet my life on just hearing the descriptions that Justice League would have trumped Venom, and that's not what happens. Right. So right. you never— Never if, say never. If Shazam is the best movie ever, then you never then you never know. Right. It is possible, but we've built up so much goodwill with Infinity War. I think it— There's no, yeah. It doesn't matter if—, if Shazam is the best movie of all time. It's still not going to be the Infinity no. War. I, I would say that's probably accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying in, in in there is a world in which it is closer it's on the same than world it is in my head right it. now. Yeah. 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 Um, will but, it beat overall Infinity War? No. Will, you don't think will, so? Will Shazam beat Infinity War? No, no, no. Infin- oh, oh, Endgame. Will Endgame. Endgame. Will Endgame beat Infinity War? Um, yeah, it certainly has a chance to do so, for sure. I think that more people that, that didn't see it in the theater that maybe caught it on Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. That's and, you, Brett. Yeah, right? yeah. You're gonna, you want to see this in the theater, don't you? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think it'll beat it. I think it's got a shot. It's got a shot to, to catch uh, Titanic. It's got a shot. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Oh, well. Here's a qu- like I'm going to add this question to it. Does it, so now Infinity War opens, biggest opening all time mm-hmm. for over the weekend. Does Endgame now beat that? Yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think I that's... think Endgame's going to shatter records. I yeah. think yeah. it's going to be the big one of the biggest box office phenomenons of all time. I Everyone... think this this franchise is just picking up people as it comes. It's just yeah, it's pulling in people. Tornado. Like my mom is going to them now. Like yeah. she's. That's I, mean, right. I can't believe we're watching all these superheroes. Left me a voicemail yeah. that she's so into this. Yeah. Remember the voicemail I, I played for you? They're so all dead. She's, in, she's like, "What the hell happened?" Everybody <laughs> needs to know what happened. It's serialized. Yeah. Everyone but needs to know. They took the serialized model and it it worked. It hooked in everybody. It's going. I think it's going to handedly beat episode nine, which I could have am- oh, yeah. matted myself saying four years ago. Yeah, I agree with that. It's going to trump it. I think that we can't possibly even predict. The, we, there's no ceiling. There's no ceiling for this. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be crazy. All right, guys. So that is the show here today. Collider Live. Thank you for everybody joining us The on the show. Ricky, Elliot. And, of course, the regular crew, Roxy and Riley and Brett and cops are doing seven jobs and Alex drinking coffee in the back. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow with William the Beast Bibiani, the former Showdown champion, will be on. Talk about God knows what. We'll see you tomorrow.